Happy Tuesday, everyone. It is time for Handelabra Live. Looks like there's audio. Looks like there's a game. That's cool. Hello, Seamus and Sparky and Duffmacuff. Could Sparky get their second win ever? Potentially. Depends on how much sake I drink. Uh, yeah. This is Handelabra Live. We're going to play some Spirit Island. And I think preview more ANZ next week. We'll see. This is Gekaiken Sake. Actually produced in California, but a Japanese brand, of course. Gispacho. I guess I'll just put this down here. Of course there's going to be a preamble take walker. Handle Upper Games believes in civil rights for everyone and in being as inclusive as possible. That includes Black Lives Matter, trans rights, and anything else that is excellent. Uh, be excellent to one another as well. Anyone working actively against these goals is not welcome and will not be tolerated. No intro. There was an intro. Did the intro video not play for you, Tech Walker? Maybe you missed it. I did play it. Uh, all right. So. Tonight, I am going to do a speed run again. You're watching Luck of the Seamus. Well, that was yesterday. You time warped. So now that we have second wave in the game, you can actually play one game through all the spirits and do a speed run based on that. So that's what I want to do. So I'm going to see if I can get my timer thing on the screen again. Uh, I'm not going to do the splits. I'm just going to... Maybe I can reset, transform. Oh, it's not there. Uh, oh, I see. That's the one. And all I really care about is the time. show on here so let's put that here I guess and we'll put me above it because why not seems fine once the game is going spirit will be up in the corner here shouldn't be blocking anything and then where did my actual, oh, it like goes off screen when I go to the game. So I can't even see the time when I'm in the game. No, I can't. There's just, it was behind something, I guess. Uh, okay, so that's all set. Let's make a prediction while I'm getting set up. I think the prediction is, will John beat, get to <laughs> and beat Wave 12. Uh, there's going to be no adversary or even blight card, I think. So, uh, make your prediction. It is going to be difficulty zero because second wave is a lot harder when you. All right, I'm just going to start random here, too. No adversary. So we have Serpent on board B. We're going to keep Branch and Claw because we need those spirits, but we're going to turn off events and we're going to say no Blight card. And that's going to be the... I think in the speed runs we did before, there was no Blight card, right? Or was there? You remember, Lude? There could be a Blight card, but... My thought is there for there to not be. Blight card was enabled. Okay, we'll keep the blight card. 
we also th those speed runs were, were done on the old rule set as well too where there was one less blade so i'm just going to take whatever uh spirit comes up randomly that's i'm not choosing the spirit Prediction time is ticking down. Sparky Wolf. Oh, there's three people think that I won't do it, and four people think that I will. It's exciting. Quite a battle. I'm into it. Level up Leo, welcome. We are doing a speed run of Spirit Island in second wave. Yeah, uh, especially if you have an adversary Kokiomot, the the waves can get very difficult. So, and I mean, I was able to beat ten games in like less than two hours, right? So I should be able to do this in less than two hours, maybe. We'll see. It does. I mean, I'm going to speed run it, so I'm going to try to play fast. All right, it is time. So uh, the predictions are in. I am, it's it's four on four. Did I turn off all animations? No, I forgot to do that, didn't I? Uh, well, I'm just gonna hit go and I'll turn, that'll be the first thing I do. All right, timer is started. Options, no animations. Messages, short, go. Everything is short. All right, here we are with Serpent. Oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> Getting a power card to stop the builds. Uh, Lure the Unknown, looks good. Uh, add Presence. Uh, there, I like, let's just play Lure and we'll play our big card next turn. Actually, I, yeah. It's like, should I lure the other guy? Nah. Explore wetlands. All right, next turn. Let's get another power card. Steam vents. Gotta love steam vents. Uh, that's pretty good. We are. I'm. I am conscious of adding blight, though, aren't I? Shouldn't I be? Uh, let's get to two card plays. Let's go here. I want primordial deeps and flowing power. Mm hmm. So I don't have to play Aegis because I can defend with one of these defend cards. Like that. Oh, I'm getting achievement progress. So I can play Absorb Essence, which can be important. And let's get energy. Oh, actually, we can destroy the city if I take Earth. All right. Don't need need to reclaim. So let's not. Defend 10. I don't really care about those. Uh, I want fire. Thank you. 
Oh, hey, they've got stuff back here. They never noticed that town. I only have one damage. Do I have the next level? No. Uh, okay. Probably want the reclaim. Now we have defend 10 there. I guess I could... Yeah. We're going to want to reclaim. Let's go for the any. I'd like to be able to move to Han, but I don't have that option here. Take Earth. Double mountains. So let me push towns only. Quick like a bunny. Uh, where are we at? To, we're getting to reclaim one. That's handy. That's an annoying ravage, isn't it? We could lure the guy out, I guess. And six is enough there, actually, so I don't need to reclaim that card. Let's get this back. Play it again. Nothing happening inland. Of course, there's a guy there now. Wake in power. Rouse in anger. For a town. And also push a town. Time for a victory. Time for a major power, I think. Paralyzing Fright, eh? We could stop the build here. It's not exciting, but it's something. Probably just let them build the town there, actually. Uh, and I think defend six is enough here, yeah. Cool. Gather into a coastal land. Oh, hey, don't build. Uh, yeah, I can finish off the city there. 
now. I have their element, but it doesn't actually, if I get the moon, generates more fear, right? Cool. Now we just gotta kill those two buildings. Let's see if we find a major that does that in the fast phase. Nope. Well, I mean, 20 damage does <laughs> in the slow phase. And if we stop this build, so does Tsunami actually do it. Uh, and it's cheaper. And with Lure of the Unknown, we stop the build, so we just win. You can go here. Don't care. No build, tsunami, GG. Don't care, just kill everything. <laughs> 10 minutes and 17 seconds. Second wave. All right, let's set aside so absorb essence. It's funny. We'll keep tsunami. Sure. Wildfire. Good. I was hoping to get wildfire early. No after game setup really. This, which is nice. Uh, all right, we have a mountain situation. Let's grab energy. And if we can get rid of this town right now, uh, the center of the island is like clear. So that's nice. Oh, look, you're in blight. How convenient. Uh, that's just going to blight unless we get a big defend card here, which we could. Hey, we did, but we're not going to be able to defend it. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. It has blight removal as well. And yeah, resilience is not going to do anything. Destroy a town. And do a damage to an explorer. Oh, I want to not use that. And there's no one to hit with that. Oh, they only explored here. Well, that takes care of that. Now we just have to deal with this. Uh, let's get energy. Ah, uh, they can stay. May as well play these. How much do I have? Just one damage? Oh yeah, I guess I should have go back quickly hit the town because I thought I'd get the city but I won't guess I don't need to play this it doesn't do get me anything does it yeah go there co 
coastal lands, you say. All right, that's taken care of. This one isn't. Uh, yeah, we're going to add blight this time. I think if I reclaim, I can kill the city. Just take cards with fire on them, basically. Uh, if I play this and things with fire. Does that do it? I do. Yeah, three damage. GG. Oh, there's explorers. I have to kill them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't generate enough fear yet. Uh, command beasts. There's no... There's no invaders. That's hilarious. I killed the city, but there's a... Uh... There. All right. Oh, I just... Oh, I have plus one damage, so I killed the, city, the town. All right. <laughs> Actually, before that, let's remove Blight. GG. All right. That was five minutes. <laughs> That's wildfire. All right, game three. Fortunately, I didn't grab a major power. I probably should have. Uh, Expecting smoke is, like, fine. Resilience. I'd like to have that in the pool, so. I guess removing Blight is okay, but it's too late now. Thunder Speaker. Uh, Thunder Speakers adding presence to a land with Dahan. Let's go. This land seems bad. Explore the wetlands. Okay. We can blow up this town right away if we put presence on it. Yeah, I would need to, if I do this, we can destroy the town they build. I kind of like sudden ambush more though, right? But then I don't get to destroy this town. Let's do this and we can blow up more things, I think. Of course, they explode the jungle. Jerks. It's uh, basically this. And, oh yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't all work the way I want, does it? Yeah, I screwed up here. Well, manifest there. <laughs> That's fine. Not exciting, but does the job. All right. Uh, sudden ambush doesn't actually stop this. Words of warning stops that. We can double add presence. We need... We don't need more energy, but we are going to need more energy, right? Uh, let's get presence in here with this city. Words of warning and I think getting Dahan into here is going to be useful. 
so. Assuming we can do something about it, maybe we can't. Maybe that was a bad idea. Uh, gather three. Next turn, we're gonna have three energy. Yeah, we're gonna have to hope to find a defend card, basically. But we have two card draws, so we're likely to be able to get it. So we could potentially go all in on having Dahan here. do it. We're here. Uh, those aren't the cards I want, but Dahan Ways is nice. And those aren't either. We get defend three, so we have some defend here. Actually, is it enough? Yeah. There's seven attack, we have six defend. Just enough. That's totally planned. And Command Beast doesn't do a whole lot. Unless we need the fear and we don't. Gather one town into a coastal land. Sure, stop the city build here, right? And gather the warriors. We can sudden ambush this guy. Um, we get, we're not gonna get to reclaim one. We're not gonna get, we could get to, we have to play both those two cards. We have to play three cards to get three air and we're not gonna be able to do that, I don't think. Can we destroy the town fast with a bonus fire and two sun cards? Yeah, I think we can do that. So we need to Han in here. That's probably just going to blight. This get the fire and oh but we don't get to do it fast that's the thing hmm <laughs> that's a cascade right now can we get that we have to get to the oh if we take two presents and do fire and sun we can do it then we just have to play no but it won't still we still can't have enough air it's not going to do it Getting caught up here. I think we might need to reclaim for a defend card. Sadly. Uh, ooh, call to migrate, you say. Also call to isolation. Also grow through sacrifice. That's quite good. Also, a joint hunt is also very good. Uh, many good things. So, words of warning takes care of that. Only one play. I think, do we do growth? I want to get the both. I want to do both. Let's play it next turn when we get another sun. Whether we get more card plays or whatever. Uh, which means then we can kill that guy and stop the explorer. Or stop the stop the build. This is just happening. Okay. Uh, 
All right, we have a mountain ravage there. Let's bring the warriors. Uh, we can defend three. Yeah, again, we're actually... Kind of sucks. Um, I think I'm not putting Dahan there because I can't defend it enough. So where do we want them? Here? Yeah. All right. So we can do... We need to grow through sacrifice. Do I do? And we need to... Yeah, we need to play sun cards. So we need to get the three card plays or the sun element. I think the three card plays is probably the most useful. Let's get in here. Oh, but I don't have enough energy to play another sun card. So it's actually the other way around. This game's taking longer. I need to get the element. So basically what I'm going to do is destroy one of these. I lose that presence again anyways, but that's all right. And we can kill this explorer. I feel one step behind the invaders here. I need to Han in the middle or in the coastal lands. Uh, all right. We can get to three card plays and reclaim one. We have six damage here. I can only defend three again. Unless I could kill the city somehow. That's a long way away. I think we look for another defend card, probably. It's unfortunate we're still stuck at two card plays if we do that. We could reclaim growth and avoid the cascade again. It's not so bad. Maybe we do that. I like doing this. And we need a sun. We do lose Dahan here, which is unfortunate. And we that kills some presence, but it was only for each Dahan. Right, so. Oh, and I can play another card. But not enough air. So actually, that means we could move the Dahan out of there if we reclaimed a card with air on it. I 
I don't know that Words of Warning does. We get the Cascade and we lose. <laughs> so I think that's actually not valid, right? We can't lose. We can't get to the city destruction, so. Uh, I guess we converted a Han. More than five minutes. It's more than it's 15 minutes now. It's very long. <laughs> All right. This land. Let's get energy. Yeah, we lose a lot of presence there. This is not great. Uh, this wipes this. Now we can gather to push to. I guess there's there's a guy there. That's annoying. Oh, wait. No. Go away, Java. And call it a hard ways. A town. All right. Problem is, this. both these ravages are cascading. We can defend three here, which is not quite enough. I think we go, we can defend one of them. Like we can defend this one pretty easily with our two cards, but we can't defend the other one. It's gonna, we only have three energy. So I'm still going miners. Their nature's resilience, defend six or add strife. There's Eight damage here. Hmm. Defend six. Fire in the sky is nice too because if we can kill the explorer and strife the city that deals with that without defense I want both of these I <laughs> can't have both uh, this helps us get fast usage of our other power though yeah it's great elements it actually we could get to destroy the city in the fast phase if we pull the right card here, don't think we did. But removing the blight actually, remove the blight stops the cascade and deals with that. So I think I'm happy with that. So that and that. And if I take something with the right elements, words of warning, no, I need fire and sun, which I don't can't afford. I could destroy a city. That would be cool. Uh, do we have what we want here, though? This stops, this removes a blight, stops the cascade. Then we strike the city and defend, and this is taken care of. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, and we have our set aside power, which is. Uh, destroy a town, push Dahan. Yeah, I mean, you'd use it here. All right. Not the most ideal turn, but... Great, more defend I didn't need. Remove guys, great.
All right. I have gather three, push four. I guess I'm just gathering two. Basically. I mean, I want, I want them all in there. Don't, like, of course, I want them all in there. So, may as well. The thing is, if I destroy the t town, like, whatever. <laughs> I'm. This is not useful. So. Yeah. All right, we need to destroy this city in the fast phase and we win. Can we do that? We can't do that. Unless we find a major that does it. That ravage is clearing up. I mean, manifestations wipes them out, right? Just put more presence there in manifestations and GG, I think. I don't even need anything else. I guess I could do it in the fast phase if I got an energy, but then I wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Oh, I need a sun. I can't afford the sun. Yeah, so it's not that. It's that. Well, I got uh, all my presents on the board. Bye. That was wave three. A little longer. Let's go to wave four with more sake. Set aside a card. Uh, we didn't take a major. That's not great. Let's take, call it a haunt ways. That seems fun. We could take manifestations, but. Shadows. You're back for the start of game four. There are more towns. All right, wetland build. Probably go for the classic opening here. Actually, I want presence in the land for Mantle of Dread. And... them in this I don't want them in that land it seems bad the mountain is also bad and a favor is called do gather up to four I mean here if I think I can defend it there's a blight there I think it's there anyway. We got the fear. Okay. Let's get a minor power and hope it's good. Blight removal seems like it's something we're going to need. Especially coastal blight removal. 
that's a bad cascade spot, so. Uh, let's get energy per turn. I want to be somewhere with the building. Actually, I am already, but let's go in. Let's get our sacred site more central. Uh, crops wither. Oh yeah, and I don't need to play Concealing Shadows for anything, so we can remove Blight. Or add to Han, but... Let's just not have you build. Great. Defend one and all lands. Here's the sands. All right. We will potentially need a defend card for that. Uh, that's just blighting. That's fine. I could play it for the elements if I get something else. I probably want to delay the reclaim. If I get to the three energy, that's pretty nice. So let's do that. Compassing Ward's not so bad. Uh, this requires Dahan to be in a land, which there aren't. Where I'm... I could use it down here in the following turn. There's no fire on any of these, which is annoying. Don't love any of these. Let's grab Call to Trade. And now I'm stuck with cards I don't want to play. So that's unfortunate. I think I just save the energy. Unless I want a fear. It's free. I'm going to reclaim. Sure. All right. Yeah, Call to Trade is going to be handy for this land that is going to get out of control on us. Uh, otherwise, time for a major. Ooh, Tsunami. That seems handy in this coastal problem. Jungle Hungers as well. Yeah, Jungle Hungers, actually. Mist is all right, too, but let's forget... Concealing Shadows, I think. It's free, though. I need free cards. Babers. All right. Jungle Hungers. We can't play three cards this turn, but we do want to manage everything. If I do that and that, then basically that deals with this in a nice way. And we can do the threshold like the next time we play Jungle Hungers, I think. We could get the threshold next turn instead, but I need Call to Trade for it, so. Oh, I need to Han there. Dang it. Can I not take... I need to take a card... That's fast and moves to Han. I don't have that. Oh, yeah, this is going to be bad. <laughs> That's just going to be real bad. I can still do it here. Yeah, that's just going to be real bad. We might lose to that uh, Sands. because there's just too much going on there. Sparky Wolf's excited. Things are bad. Gather town, maybe from this place. I 
That's another city there, but it's delaying the inevitable. Cascade can go in the back mountain here, I guess. Yeah, the problem is we have another Ravage here in a second. So I think well, what we can do is... Jungle Hunger's here. And... We need, like, defend two. And also defend... And also remove Blight. We can remove Blight. So if we get defend two for this... We're okay this turn. Defend two in a land without blight. Dang it. If the land is the right land type, defend three. Dang it. Use a slow power as if it were fast. I don't think that helps us. I think this is GG. Because... We can remove a blight so we could allow this to blight, but we can't manage that. Yeah. We got the defend, but not in the way that we can, that we can use it. <laughs> the monkey's paw. Uh, so it doesn't matter. We, we have lost. We could play three cards. Is there anything that we could do with Sky Stretches to Shore? I'll take it. Um, oh, that's true. It's a Blight card. It's not a loss, is it? I kept thinking we're going we're gonna to lose. We're not losing. Just feeling bad. So maybe I don't need to be as pessimistic. Uh, we can take Dark and Tangled Woods for Jungle Hungers then. I kept, in my head there was no Blight card. And so I was like, oh, we've, we've lost. But then we didn't. We, we do have a Blight card. So actually, maybe we're okay. Uh, let's play a fire, then. I think we still remove a blight. And we try to save energy for jungle hungers. So we play concealing shadows. Oh, but if we play another fire, we get to do the other thing. I like that. We get to do this, where we gather him and destroy them for fear. Spark Wolf is sad. <laughs> uh, these Dahan are dying, just sad, and I could make more that would also die. Uh, yeah. We have a fear card, maybe we get to defend a bunch. Oh, something happened with the fear card. We're going to explore from an inland land, basically, was what happened. Too bad there's no disease. Uh, so I guess we'll ravage here. Memory fades to dust. Classic. All right. Jungle. I can reduce this guy to an explorer. That seems pretty decent. Uh, you can go into this horror show. All right, it is time for the jungle to hunger. A little too late, but I think it'll be okay. 
Gift of Power. Also good for Jungle Hunger's strats. So I just need to play a moon and stuff. A moon and two, two plants. So that actually is nice to have as well. There's no place for it right now, so maybe not. But having the fire is a nice idea. Now I do need to play three plants, right? That won't work in that land. Defend three is not enough in that land. So I think that, I guess there's this card, Gift of Power, gets me a card. And I would like to block the build, I guess. What else can I do? I just need literally a plant. But yeah, the ravage isn't happening in a case I care about. I guess I can use this somewhere where there's Dahan, except there's no one where there's Dahan. But it's too fear for it in any case. And I get to stop the build. I think stopping the build is probably worth it. We can kill this guy by Dahan. Because there's no events, and I can reliably do that. Uh, yeah. Here's where we might think about forgetting powers, but I can destroy this presence, I think, first. Well, he got removed anyway. Coastal lands, you say? That seems like the jungles want to hunger here and here. I guess here is worse. There's two cities. Yeah, this at least clears this land, and then we'll use it again next turn. I think we just reclaim and play that <laughs> most turns now. Uh, there's no place for me to use this. Except for fear. Growth through sacrifice. That seems nice. So I don't get to reclaim one. If I want Jungle Hungers back for this, and I do, I must reclaim it. This has fire and plant and moon, excuse me. So I'm into that. as does Growth Through Sacrifice. Unfortunately, I don't have any Blight in my lands. But I think it still has good value. We can play uh, Call the Dahan Ways, but there's no land where it works. Actually, there is, but that guy's going to be gone. <laughs> so I'm not going to play it this turn. Sparky always says no. <laughs> yeah, we can almost kill this city now with beasts. Uh, I'm kind of at the edge of energy now, so let's take one more energy and Let's gather this guy. We could generate two fear in this land with the city. Let's do that. Uh, we're keeping up on powers now, so I'm going to forget this one because it's not going to be used. Hey, he got strafed. Things happened. The jungles, they hunger. Well, the condition is no cities, and there are three cities on the board, but 
We're getting there. Uh, add disease or add one fear and add one strafe. We're actually so close to defending that land. It's interesting. I don't think we're going to. We're just going to remove the blight. Uh, we can add... A disease. I don't think we need to... Worry about jungle hungers this turn. Because we can remove the blight there. Um, that ravage kills that guy. This guy would be building. We could crops wither it. So we just play what play our cards, basically. Uh, we could get another major, see what we get. Pent up calamity. Talons of Lightning, can't afford it. Infinite Vitality also stops the Blight. <laughs> we could kill this city, actually, with Pent Up Calamity. I like that. And let's forget... Concealing Shadows, I think it's time. I don't think I need it, or do I? Yeah. I can get enough energy to play that. And I'm going to play that, and I could play Gift of Power or something free, or just take the five energy and have enough energy just in case. Uh, let's get another Presence here so we can remove Blight there. Pent up Calamity. And Time and Tide. And Gift of Power. Crops Wither for this guy. Mental of Dread for that guy, maybe. Yeah, that gets me this, and that's more fear. And we're still not having a place to use Call of the Hanways, so. Remove the strife, and that's all we need to remove, right? Can leave the beast. I guess we get a fear if we... Oh, yeah, if we had another fire, interesting, we would get to return the tokens. Let's just remove... Actually, no, I'm going to keep the beast because it carries over to the next game, right? And actually, here we can save the disease, too. Build your town, I don't care. Uh, we could forget a power now. I don't think we're worried about Dark and Tangled Woods. Oh, it's nice for the other thing if we need it. Yeah, we can destroy a presence in the back corner here. Hey, things are happening. Gather to Han and deal damage. The two to Han, three to Han on the board. <laughs> oh, hey, we win by replacing a uh, city with a town. GG. All right, that one also took longer, but not, doesn't feel like it took as long as the Thunder Speaker. Maybe it did. Fifth wave. More sake. I didn't get to stage, I did get to stage three, did I? But not, it felt like I got further into it with Thunder Speaker. Maybe it was similar. Let's keep the jungle hungers or pent up calamity. Actually pent up calamity is real good. Jungle hungers is more restrictive to use, so. Uh, if we're going to have a land with Blight, it may as well all be in one land, right? And in a land with disease. All right, it's green. And of course, that troublesome land is a sand. So we'll have to be careful about that. Uh, they explore into the mountains.
So we can stop that build here. That seems good and get try to stop the Ravage there next turn. We don't have to stop the Ravage, it's just whatever. We'll just stop the build. Let's get a Sacred Sight going in here. And with Stem the Flow, we can destroy that town. And then they won't have visibility of this jungle anymore. Defend two. Uh, let's get to two card plays next turn this way. Ah, uh, they did get into my jungle, jerks. Well, they're not going to do much there. All right, so we get to two card plays. Uh, we need energy. I could just go this way and get card plays next turn. Or I'll reclaim, I guess. Yeah, actually, I want the card plays for the reclaim turn anyways, don't I? And I, I want the energy and I want it. I want both. We're getting both. So this is a goes anywhere. I'm going to preemptively get presence in here, maybe. Ah, uh, well, I'll get presence in there. We'll just stop this build here. Uh, defend two. <laughs> Doesn't do a whole lot. And do I want to overgrow? Yeah, I feel like I, I want to have a presence in here, so. It's easy for me to add into here next turn. No build. And so we can chase this town out of here. I can do just the one damage, so that's not useful. Let's chase this out into here. Where's my jungle hungers now? All right. Claim. Let's get a minor power. Call it a Han Ways is not a bad idea here. Animated Rack Root is okay. They're building in B1. They're not in B6 because of disease. I could also stop them building in B1. And stop the Ravage. Oh, we could just stop it with Veil the Night's Hunt. Let's do that. So let's get a Sacred Sight in here. Veil the Night's Hunt stops this. They're not, so there's no build. So we get a break here for a second. And we could destroy a town somewhere we're in. We play this. And let's keep the sacred site there. in the mountains again. So we could stop that build, but then we still have a little bit of a problem. 
because there's two explorers there now. But we could just defend it pretty easily, right? Uh, if we do this, we get to three card plays and three energy. I mean, we're getting... If we do that, we get to three card plays. We get, would get to four card plays, I guess. So why don't we gain a power card and energy here? Maybe we can stop that or clear this blight or something. Lure of the Unknown doesn't quite do it. It's good elements, though. And we're going to add a presence into here, I guess. Doesn't super matter. So lure and overgrow lets us stop the build. And oh yeah, we're actually can kill a city if we do this. I only got played lure like for the elements. I guess I could have played something else, but. Uh, where would we lure? I guess we could lure someone in here to get killed by the Dahan. Actually, that means I should use my defense there. And pull a town in. Seems good. It's time for a major next turn. They are going to ravage here next turn, and here is the cascade, which is annoying. And they're building, oh no, in the sands, after all. So creepers tear, creepers tear. Reclaim. Yeah, I think we can afford a major here. Jungle hungers. So that doesn't help us with this, but there's nothing we have for that right now anyways unless we can somehow get the threshold on this, which I don't think so. Uh, we could take a look. Um, we'd have to play those two cards and then get another water and an earth and a plant. We don't have any earth. These don't have Earth, so that can't happen. <laughs> the end. Uh, it's Jungle Hungers, right? Unless these do anything in the fast phase enough, and they don't, so. It, I mean, we might be able to get this down to defend. to Because def we have defend four pretty easily. And right now it's three, five, seven, eight, nine. So we could lure a town away. That's seven. That's all. I mean, we could just put a sacred site in there. I think that's what we do. And we stop it. So. What do we forget? This card that I never want to play. Gotta add presence to... Oh, I don't have a presence to place to make a sacred site there. Dang it. I was too greedy placing presence off my other track. So we can't, it's gonna cascade no matter what we do here. Cause I don't have presence. I, I, I can still move presence though, right? Yeah, I can still move presence. It's not coming off my destroyed, but I'm moving it from somewhere else on the island. So, you know what? I'm okay with that. Uh, wait, where did my card go? Did I click to forget it by accident? Oh, they just reordered on me 
for some I just got confused about where my cards were. If I do this, we got the threshold, and we can make a sacred site here to stop that from happening. And also destroy a city where we are. Uh, and lure stops a city build here. It doesn't. It stops a regular build here. So, gift. And here, we don't have the defend two, actually. Do we want that? Maybe we want that. presence then we can defend two there oh we can command beast to stop this build that seems nice at strife i guess strife is going on this town they're not ravaging here And explore the wetlands. All right, jungle hungers can clean up this place. That is a problem. We'll deal with this too, but this turn is that one. And stem the flow. Good spot for stem the flow. Because we get a city and a town. We're pretty close to winning here. If we could get the towns and the Dahan in the same place to ravage, we could win. But I don't think we can move both towns. Oh, actually, yeah, we can't move both towns. Yeah, I don't think that works. Uh, we have jungle hungers though, right? We're just going to keep playing that every turn probably. <laughs> uh, let's take a minor power with elements we want. Rejection, I guess. Uh, destroyed presence. Well, I guess we don't get our threshold, but there's no cities anyways, right? It's fine. Uh, if we lure this guy, he won't try to build. There's only one of them. And there's no Dahan, so. Defend coastal lands, great. The jungle is hungry, and so is green. All right, that one was about 10 minutes, maybe. 13 minutes. Sixth wave. Maybe the sake is hitting now. Green's easy. All right, it's time to set aside jungle hungers after all. It's Earth. This one might take a little longer. Earth often goes into the long game. All right. Again, again with the wetlands. Uh, we're gonna want... Oh yeah, why didn't it... Why is there three to Han here? Were there three to Han there? Oh, they, they made a baby Dahan. That's what happened. I mean, I have all the animations turned off, so everything just happened instantly. Yeah, there was two here, and they made a baby. That's what happened. Uh, sorry. I can... Oh, I can't 
get over here unless I take the reclaim first turn. I would like to guard the healing land here and have a sacred site here. Leave them alone long enough. <laughs> So I'm going to take the classic reclaim turn one option. And play Fruitful Earth. And we'll play Healing Land here next turn. There's going to be a city here. It's a problem. Maybe that's a problem. Maybe we don't depend on doing that. There's going to be cities in both places. Oh, perfect stillness, I guess, is the play then. Perfect stillness here this turn. Healing land there next turn. Wow, this is, this is going to be gross. <laughs> And they still rabbit, they still blight this, but at least they won't cascade. Yikes. Well, at least they're going here. Guardian Serpents. An interesting option. Gets me a sun, which I don't have a lot of for my thing. Grab that. We're gonna go. Uh, yeah, we need to get card plays. Healing land. Light comes back. All right, this is killing Alar Dahan, which is sad. But there's not... I guess I could have taken a card to help me with that last turn. Veil the Night's Hunt, but... I didn't. And now they're going in here. So this is where Guardian Serpent is going to help me. Except I can't get a Sacred Sight in there fast enough. Wow. This might be a bad one. <laughs> Command beasts would get me take out the explorer, but that's not that great. If we play two cards this turn, what are the cards? I think we gain a power card and try to either defend if we get we might get a defend six, right? Like that would be awesome. Or defend five. So I think we have to shoot for that. Hey look, defend five. Or defend 10, but... That's cool. I think that's got to be the pick. Except I don't have range, because it's that one. And I don't have air. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's still potentially useful. I'm less happy about it now that I realized it doesn't work. <laughs> Another bad one, Sparky Will. Yeah. They're killing my Dahan, which I need. And I can't really do anything about it. So it's pick a card you want later. There's nowhere that this does anything, really. Defend five is enough if I put presence here. So I think that's the, the pick for next turn. Uh, 
uh, this turn. We could get a bunch of fear from this, but it's a lot of energy to not actually destroy anything. I don't love playing this to little effect. I don't even know if I want to play any cards. Save my energy for next turn and for future turns. I guess if they explore wetlands or mountains, there's some value to draw, so. And actually, yeah, I don't have, if I had a beast there, then command beast does something. Creating a beast does have some value, so let's play it. Um, gonna be here. Just because it has more use for command beasts later. All right, so we did get a wetlands. Pull. So if I bring him in here and kill him with command beasts, then defend five is still enough. And there's Dahan, which is what I want. I only want the one. Don't like separate my Dahan, but I kind of have to. And we have to add presence. And rituals, I mean, does two damage. It's not great though. It's, I think it's gonna be a card I forget for a major. There's not enough to haunt around. I don't think it's worth it. We have to use Command Beasts to do damage to an Explorer. And here can be Fear. Yeah. I guess we would have cleared this land, but it's fine. Don't think it's worth three energy. That's bad. That's clear. I think we need to gain a power. We oh yeah, we could reclaim and just skip that land this turn and get a card next turn. Yeah, because we can actually defend this. Yeah, we got a bug report where someone complained that they didn't get a sacrifice victory when there was zero to hand left on the island, and we're like. What does that have to do with anything? Because they, I guess, thought that losing all the Dahan makes you lose, but you don't. Yeah, I think it's Reclaim. And... This is nine damage, so I think that's just perfect stillness in that spot. And then we can defend this fairly easily next turn. And this can at least not cascade next turn, except we're not close enough to it, so it will. <laughs> I guess if we make a sacred site there, we might be able to... It's going to have nine damage. So three plus five is eight. That should be enough. 
We want more we want more energy. I want a big major. Next turn I want to get a I guess we have tons of energy. I want to get a big major next turn. That's my goal. Uh so we could stop this cascade with healing land, right? Oh no, we were gonna perfect stillness it. It's kind of six of one, half dozen of the other almost. Um Stillness is fine. Stillness is easier because you don't need to have a sacred site next door, but we're going to have a sacred site next door to everything soon. So what's the next play then? What's the other play? Draw is cheap. Might get a mountain explorer. Mountain or coastal so we can stop the build there. It's not called Dahan Island. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a draw here. And next turn, we have defend eight here with the sacred site. And healing land and serpents for this. Except serpents won't defend because it's not a sacred site. This doesn't, yeah. Oh, we'll figure it out. Uh, forget a power or destroy a presence. Let's destroy a presence in this back mountain. Maybe the jungle? Jungle didn't come up yet either, so. Oh, remove an explorer slash town from a land with sacred site. Literally this... <laughs> it's annoying. I guess I could have used draw... I could have used stillness here. That would have been smart, probably. Uh, they did explore the mountains. Defend five is enough here with Set the Strength, right? And Guardians is... Yeah, so what I do is... Sacred Sight here plus Guardian Serpents is seven. So I need there to be eight damage there. So one Explorer from here, one Explorer from here. And sure, there's nothing happening in the wetland. That means there's going to be serpents. Uh, yeah, right? I have guard the healing land as well. What am I doing? Guard the healing land doesn't, well, will work here if I make a sacred site. I just have so many different cards I'm trying to figure out <laughs> what I'm playing. This is six. So sap the strength by itself is fine. I think that's that's what it comes down to, right? Then sacred site here and do whatever, basically. And yeah, sacred site plus serpents. I think I was thinking of sacred site plus sap the strength, but sacred site plus serpents is now gonna be enough there. All right, time for a cool major. Win the game major. Well, there's some pretty good stuff. Winds of Rust does the job defending. Problem is there's no Dahan on the island to defend with. Uh, Pillar of Living Flame is pretty solid damage, especially if I'm using it on like mountains. Seven damage, but it adds blight. So I have to pair it with something else. Yeah, and Rapid Wings, the problem is just like there's not enough to Han. It does work, but 
And it does have sun. This has good elements. I think I'm getting my... No, I need... Rarely getting my innate. Um, I'm going to play these three cards this turn. Actually, I don't have to play Guard the Healing Land, do I? So I could take and play Pillars. I think I need some direct damage. Uh, and Rituals is going to go because it's just not great uh, for me right now. Three card plays. Sacred Sight. Serpents. Sap. Pillar of Flame. This choose the spirit, and we're good. And this is going to be good here. And we're going to pillar living flame into there. Uh, yeah, we're going to destroy presence. I think just destroying ones that are in. Just losing sacred sites a little bit. As long as I still have a sacred site for powers I need, it's okay. Of course, they explore the jungle. So if I bomb this, yeah, this adds blight in jungle wetlands, so it has to go in here. Then guard the healing land takes care of that. But of course, I'm probably reclaiming here. Yeah, we're just going to go for, like, smash everything here. <laughs> That's the the new mode. So I think I want Reclaim. I could gain another Major, but I have more cards to play. Uh, let's go more Energy. Let's make a Sacred Site. Let's start, yeah, let's start getting Presents here for the Ravage next turn. I lost my Sacred Sight here, but I could put it back. But having Presence there is good for Sap the Strength, right? Uh, we want Guard the Healing Line for this. Um, and yeah, there's nothing. I think Pillar of Living Flame just like helps us clear out some p bad places. And we don't save our defend cards, so we could just like, if we play this, we don't get to play a lot of expensive cards next turn, but we're just playing these three cards next turn. I could just stop the build like in the back here or something. Oh, and we have jungle hungers. How convenient. for that land. Well, that takes care of that land, and they don't build. Oh yeah, and I can destroy the guy with the beast so that we don't need to worry about the Ravage next turn either. I don't know that I want to command beast this turn. I think we don't need to right now. Uh, so yeah, actually we won't need a sacred site there. Let's destroy this presence. Add strife and a land with Dahan. Minus one health per strife. Well, this guy's, these guys are all dying, so. Move town explorer from a land with beasts or one explorer from adjacent to beasts. Well, it may as well be this guy. Well, yeah. I guess it could be a town and an explorer here. I was going to pillars that though, right? So actually, but pillars wouldn't kill everything. 
Now pillars will kill everything. Yes, build in the jungle. Feel free. All right. Living flame. I guess living flame could have gone in that mountain there. Let's see what jungle hungers does in terms of fear. So we're not quite at the next tier level. Even though that's a city, clearing this land out has more value, I think. Uh, cool. And so, yeah, we could command beasts. Oh, I could have commanded beasts. No, but I, if I commanded beasts, it was in the fast phase, right? I can't command beasts in the slow phase. So that's too bad. The fear card would have killed the town. So we don't need our defend cards. I guess we're reclaiming. We can either play defend or just kill the guy. The problem with our big damage card is that in the wetlands, it adds blight. I think we want to can we go to four card plays i guess do we need seven energy this turn if we play pillar for this one it's kind of overkill but yeah if we play pillar we can't play anything else is the issue i don't know that we need to play pillar here we could guard the healing land just for blight removal which is expensive Honestly, I don't know that I want my cards this turn. We have this downturn, so maybe actually instead of reclaiming, I just gain another card, get another major, and try for something I want this turn. And then we have these cards that can like help for command beasts or whatever. Like Accelerated Rot. Or cast down in the briny deep, destroy the board. That would be cool. You could definitely pull off accelerated rot. Don't get the threshold, but four damage to clear at B1. Uh, that would be a sacrifice victory take, Walker. And then you can continue on if you restore the island. Uh, this is also like almost as much damage and I would get the threshold it's more damage than accelerated rot and it adds but it's range zero right that's the well range zero I can go in there that's fine we need to forget a card um hmm Guess it's stillness. I don't know that I need to worry about that right now. If we go in here and play all our cards, oh, it's range zero. I can't. I, yeah, actually, that that won't work. That doesn't do anything. Well, it does a little, but not a lot. I guess it is rot. I mean, I could just forget draw the fruitful earth. It's not that great. I mean, it does. It would help stop some builds. So it's also not that bad. Hmm. What were my other choices? Cast down. Can't afford. I don't think growth is pretty cool too. Gets us a repeat of something. So does accelerated rot actually.
problem is I'm almost out of presence anyways. Uh, would I get the threshold? No. Yeah, I think I need the damage and jungle wetlands are what's happening. And yeah, I think it's perfect stillness. Though, I mean, perfect stillness is nice if there's a bad place, but I think I have enough other resources that I don't necessarily need it. I don't think I need four card plays this turn. Sacred Sight there takes care of that. Oh, but actually, if I'm going to command beasts to destroy that town, but... Yeah. Rot, draw. Oh, I need another. Yeah, I have another earth. This kills the town. And... I can re do a re repeat. And here can just be fear. So one damage doesn't do much there. And I can do a repeat. I'll repeat draw the fruitful earth, I think. Could stop multiple. Well, these are the only places where there's just gonna be, I guess if they explore jungle, that could could work, so. Destroy presence or forget a power. Yeah, I think it's this one. Defend. Remove. Hey, look. Stop a build. Here, I think. Explore sands and wetlands. So, yeah. We could totally stop this one. Or we could work on this one. I don't actually know that we can deal with that. We have guard and this is defend four this is defend five that's defend nine yeah that's enough because this can do this will do four damage and we could actually take explorers out if we wanted as well so then defend nine is enough and we also remove the blight So then we actually want to gather. This guy out of here. That guy can, those guys can stay. Bring to Han. And then we want to draw again. Because now there's too much in here. I didn't have to do it whichever way, but, you know, whatever. Just grab some extra guys out, leaves the Dahan there. Then I think this land takes care of itself. This land we can take care of. Let's go up to four card plays, I think, unless we really need otherwise. That's defense. That's defended. There's no mountain. This can get pillared. It'd be nice to have Dahan there, but as we know, there are no Dahan. Having one more energy, I don't think won't change anything this turn. Or probably next. Pillar is good here. That makes it so that that next turn is no problem. And I think we're past all the command beasts, so I think we just try to stop builds again. Or we could do a repeat of Sap the Strength, which has no value. 
No, that actually doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. And we're running out of presents. It's fine. Don't actually need the presents there, but they are going to go again there, right? So. They did not build where they're outnumbered. Well, they weren't going to anyway. No cities, you say. Maybe we can make that happen next turn. And we can take away explorers from this land. Let's just collect them all into this one, I guess. And you can stay there. So if I they're ravaging again here. Actually, I could have got Dawn there. Do we want these? Act we don't care about towns, right? Don't gather those guys. Just gather Dahan. That's one city. Accelerator Rot is the other city. And that's it. Right? As long as we defend it. We reclaim and throw a bunch of defend, and that's game. Remove a blight somewhere. Could have removed two blight. Could we have gotten to that? Do we need snap the strength? If we do that. We get to repeat and remove two blight. I don't know that it matters, but it doesn't matter, right? Because there's enough on the island that we're just going to remove some anyways. Maybe it does. How much defense do we have here? Um, seven. And there's too much damage there. So yeah, we need sap the strength or literally repeating sap the strength there, which doesn't make mean anything. So the other ravage, yeah, isn't doing anything. Make more beasts. Uh, and let's remove. Coastal Blight. Skip the build. GG. All right, we are halfway. This is taking longer than I thought. <laughs> it's getting more complicated, the more waves. But we're still trying. I, I can't say that it's a speed run, speed run. Like, there's too much to think about. This is 10 damage. This is nine damage and a removal blade. I think it's accelerated rot here. I'm gonna leave the beast in the land with so much blight and hope that hopes that it helps. Yeah, water is also the drink. Speaking of water, it's ocean. Hey, uh, did Erdahan not make babies? Weren't they supposed to make babies? Oh, they, they did make a baby. They did make a baby. 
Uh, all right. Holy moly. There's a lot happening in here. Uh, let's add our presence to all of these are scary. This one sees more of the interior, so. Oh, great. All right, so the order of the day with Ocean Solo is get to a major. And try to find something that lets you reach inland. So I think we want to just go two card plays and I, I know some people just totally go bottom track on ocean, but I like getting those elements too. Uh, firstly, Call of Deeps doesn't do anything for us. Land Dwellers gets us a town. Um, we could go first turn coastal. Is that crazy? because we can keep B2 under control and basically drown everything else. I think we're doing that. Normally I would go the second one, but. Like if we do that basically, let's gain our power card first. We'll get a minor because we have zero energy. But we won't have zero energy for long. Call of the Dahan Ways is interesting and has elements we like. Delusions of Danger would be cool, but everywhere has towns, right? So Push and Explore doesn't do a whole lot. does potentially get us an energy. Uh, I like the idea of Call of the Dahan Ways. I do also like Renewing Rain, that we can just be trying to remove the blight from these two lands. <laughs> Maybe I should take that. I think I'm going to take that. All right, we're gonna go like this and we're gonna literally play the two cards we can play. This just has elements that generate fear and let us drown, so. All right, is there, no wait, there was, there is an explorer I can, I can get. Oh, but it's range zero, so I can't even, I can't even. <laughs> That's hilarious. I could I could pull the explorer away from there. You know what? Why not, right? Uh, this lets us drown that explorer. Perfect. And let's drown a town from here. So our defend five defend four does work. Now we have five energy. Grow three on turn one. Never thought you'd see the day. Yep. Desperate times. Maybe I should have taken a major. So renewing rain doesn't work right now, but tidal boon does. I basically just play tidal boon and grasping tide here, right? So I think I can get away with this. I think I don't play Renewing Rain, really. Well, actually, maybe next turn I play three again and get a major. Uh, this is bad, also. That's very bad. Yeah, I think we're playing for next turn to get three card plays with a major. Well, we don't have three cards to play, so maybe I go stick it two card plays and a moon. Yeah, that's why, um, well, yeah, I mean, renewing rain, I would just play for the elements, I guess. But the idea is if I go th with this, then I'm gonna have a sacred site close enough to one of these, that's the plan. There are no lands. Okay, sadness. They explore the jungles. 
Tidal boon. Give me more energy. You're out of town. I have 10 energy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna gain another power card. It's gonna be a major. I should have taken a major immediately. Oh, Indomitable Claim, perfect. We can Indomitable Claim. Winds of Rest is also really good, but Indomitable Claim is what I need to get into the island. So it has to be that. Like it has to be, right? I mean, Winds of Rest can defend the entire island also so there's not it's not a hundred percent clear that i have to take a dominable claim maybe i do want winds of rest we're taking winds of rest and we're forgetting a card i think call of the deeps is kind of weak here we might not need tidal boon either like with our other stuff. I don't think we need Tidal Boon. Call of Deep still does work if they happen to explore the coast, so. Uh, we only have two card plays this turn, but we're probably reclaiming next turn, so we might want three card plays then. Yeah, we want more card plays. We need more card plays. And push presents to the coast. Good night, Tank Walker. Uh, so, Winds of Rust. Downgrade a city. That's defended. And pound ships wherever. And we don't need to command beasts at this point. Oh, great. Defend three coastal lands. Thanks a lot. So, renewing rain, I can do here, and then they won't cascade. I think. I mean, one. I'd rather have less lands with blight in terms of numbers, so. And there are no towns. I drowned them all. Uh, so we're going to reclaim. I think we take a miner here. Now that we did get a card that lets us reach inland, we just are going to let that blight probably and defend it next turn because next they're going to build a city which means it's gonna be seven damage. So the Winds of Rest will deal with that next turn. But if we defend this, uh, the Dahan kill stuff. So, minor power, ooh, Confounding Mists. I do like that. Sap the Strength is also really nice. Aegir's Resilience is also really nice. Hmm. Many nice things. Also, like, here's my... Def this is, like, the defend pole. So I could almost defend both lands, except this is seven damage. I would need to call... I would need to call the deeps away one of them oh wait if it's seven damage then resilience is enough right so i could just defend both i feel like that's worthwhile based on the things that can happen in this game so winds of rust and nature's resilience and one more card Renewing rain. Just keep removing blight. Yeah. And they are going to build again, but we could just like reclaim and do the same thing. So. And we could get a fear card here. But I'm not in such a hurry to use command beasts, so. Could do more later. Eh, 
and we're doing rain. Perfect card for this board state. And there's nothing to drown. Yeah, I think if we reclaim, then we get to just do that again. I think we just need to do that again. Uh, let's take another minor power. Grow through sacrifice. I am into that. Don't know if I'll play it for a while, but... Let's gather... I like keeping the sacred site in that land. Let's seize more. Nature's resilience and winds of rust. And that winds of rust also like knocks down the buildings, which is nice. It's not just defending. Um, and we could actually we could stop the build here, so. Let's do that. Come to me. Still don't get to drown anything, but any town, but that's okay. We can push up to three from an inland land. This one, so they don't do anything. Seems nice, they don't need to defend anything next turn. This is going quite well. And drown a town. I'm not getting the right elements to drown that city. <laughs> All right, so I don't think we have to reclaim this turn. We can take a breath. There's no ravage. There's a build here, which is gross, but we can defend that next turn. Uh, question is, do we want to stay put or do we want to surge in five card plays we can definitely get to four card plays just doing this take a different major yeah we want to get presence here for swallow the land dwellers so it's a speed run sparky wolf we can't take a breath must go faster Yeah, four card plays. We could play all of those if we want, but I think, well, I like all my cards, actually. So let's take a minor. I don't like these cards. So much. Call the Bloodshed. We could get some Dahan into here. That seems fine. We don't have to play Grasping Tide at all. So, play those. Oh, we do get to drown the city now. Grow through Sacrifice. The water doesn't really get us anything this turn. And we're reclaiming, so let's take the five card plays. And we're going to be getting a bunch of energy this turn, so. Welcome, welcome stage three. All right, so renewing rain is just Removing blight for us. All the blight. <laughs> uh, oh, there's like an extra guy here, but that's fine. Drown the city. And... Oh, we need a... Oh, I, it's this one. That is... Per, I, I just clicked on it, and I didn't realize that it's annoying. So we're going to just kill the town here. We're forgetting that card next. Like right now. We can't cannot abide that card. Uh 
major power. Sea monsters. That's fun. Also, pushing. We should make sure we can actually defend this. 14 damage. We can play in Winds of Rust for defense 6. And Resilience for defense 6. And we could pull out an Explorer. So that's enough. If we want to defend it. It's a lot. <laughs> Actually, it's it's less because it's downgrade, right? So it's actually 13 damage. So we don't need to do the 6 and the 6 is enough. So we don't have to defend that. If we can get to Han in there, that would be cool. Um, sea Monsters is great. Terrifying Nightmares is great for pushing. We can just push stuff out of there. We can also push it stuff into the sea. sea monsters though we actually have a chance of getting the threshold on that with the cards we have too and Par paralyzing fright is also very handy good cards good cards what cards do i want Sea monsters? I don't know that I'll actually play it that much. It doesn't work on the lands that, like, I need it just to work on lands that I can't reach, which Terrifying Nightmares does. Like, it works better. Excuse me. So, Call the Deep stops two builds. Winds of Rust and Nature's Resilience. Deals with that. Spall the Land Dwellers deals with the one land they do build in. And... I could send this town more inland, I guess. I think we just grow through Sacrifice, right? Just be growing. If I have nothing else, I could remove Blight, but like... We're fine. Elements wise, does anything matter? I don't think a great deal. Always be growing. We could play Accelerated Rot, which could wipe out this land for us. I don't really, I think we're just, just a bit to win like, well, we're not about to win. We, How close are we to no cities, I guess? That's the question. Ah, pretty close. So, yeah, we'll play set aside. Accelerated Rot. Because no cities. Call the Deeps. Deep Six. Some guys. And nature's resilience in here gets us to defended. Generate a bunch of fear. Yeah, we're actually so close to just winning. We could have played terrifying nightmares, I guess, and probably just won. Did we? Would we just win? We would just win. Yeah. Sorry, we're gonna go back because then we don't have to go through the invader phase. This, this, sure. Play it. Oh, also I get to repeat it. <laughs> Nightmares. Sure, send all the friends. And... Remove Blight now. No problem. Also, generate fear with command beasts. GG. 
All right, that's seven games. I'm gonna refill my water. Be right back. Timer's still ticking. I guess I could have instead removed all the blight from the island, and that would have been a little smarter, right? 15 points. My points are going down, like, down, 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 because of so much blight on the island. Set aside a power card. Ooh. I think Winds of Rest come in pretty clutch. So could Terrifying Nightmares, though, with, like, so much fear. Late game. Let's take that. Hey, look, speaking of fear, it's Bringer. How's the sake doing? Still working away. Back to Major Power Town with Bringer. One blight on the island. Yeah, I should have got it to zero blight. That would have been good. That would have been smart. And we actually are starting to get more Dahan again, which is kind of nice. Uh, I could go turn one major here with three energy. Unfortunately, there's I can't gather more Dahan into the same land, or I could set it up for next turn. I think we go turn one major. I think we have to try it. Uh... Get as much energy as we can. Can I reach that? No. That's just going to blight. That's probably going to be a pain in the butt. That's three fear here. We're going to do that. We're going to use our abilities while we have our elements. Mm -hmm. We've earned a fear card. Let's look at that following one. Remove one explorer from a land with Dahan. Pillar of Living Flame, pent up calamity. What am I looking at? Manifest Incarnation, right? It's so good with this spirit. Six fear. Plus one fear for each town city and for each of your presence. Remove one city, one town, and one explorer. That's going to just deal with this land and be awesome. That's so good. I mean, these are all great, but this is the card I want. Add Strife. Probably to that one that's in the land. Oh man. So how much fear have I generated so far? Five. We're generating nine more right now. <laughs> We've gotten to tear level two on the first turn. I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> That's outstanding. And we have two fear cards ready. We know what one of them are. And we're halfway to the next fear card. I love it. I love it a lot. Uh, Dread Apparitions. We could defend this land if we want. 
I guess. And then we can Predatory Nightmares this guy away. Bringer is very scary. It's true. Now we need to get enough energy up so we can play that again. Someday. So... Let's see what the following fear... Well, we, we're going to get another fear card. It's not going to change our decisions, right? Can we... Maybe we'll... Does it say you may flip a fear card? It says... This says do not flip. You have to flip. I want to find out what's happening... Later. Because we have this turn taken care of. Just wanted to make sure how much fear I was getting, basically. I'm not going to report a bug, but I don't think that should say do not flip. Uh, invaders not build in lands where... Whatever, we're not getting that this turn. So there's one damage per Dahan, so we can destroy a town here. Really destroy a town. And remove an explorer slash town from a land with presence. Well, this guy's strafed. This is defended. We may as well remove the town, though. And remove a... Right. Oh, we can stop this build. Perfect. All right. So I was going to Predatory Nightmares this town, but then that didn't happen. Um... We can stop them building a city here. Seems useful. Just push that over here. All right, reclaim turn. Unless we want to reclaim one, but we can't afford manifest incarnation. <laughs> if, I, if I had one more energy. Oh, will I have one more energy? No, I won't. So, it needs to be next turn. Maybe we'll get a card with a sun on it. Two cards with suns on them, I guess we need. Well, that is a sun. I want one with sun and moon, which is pretty rare, actually. Elemental boon has that, technically. Uh, promises of protection. Does that help us with B2? We could get defend one in there with dread apparitions if we wanted to. And the Dahan would have four health. And there's right now eight damage, so one of them would survive to kill a town. Doesn't seem super useful. Dahan ones aren't... There's still not a lot of Dahan. There's only five. I like the gathering. We could just gather... We have our own gathering cards, though, right? Range zero with the city. I could actually get there with Reaching Grasp instead, right? Maybe I take Reaching Grasp for next turn. So we can get three fear here. We're go we're fear rushing here, right? So three fear with that. This gets the city or the town out of here. And then we manifest incarnation and probably like basically win by removing the city. Oh, they're building another city there. All right, we know that they don't build in lands with Dahan, outnumber them. So actually we could stop the build. So instead of generating fear, we could gather. Let's see what the next fear card is, because that's going to decide. Defend two in all lands, well, whatever.
we can just manifest incarnation. Well, no, that's in the slow phase, isn't it? It doesn't work in the in that sands next turn. Command Beasts stops this build anyways. I'd rather stop the build than let them build. Uh, Night Terrors can go here. Yeah, actually saving the defend two in all lands is better for next turn. And then Predator Nightmares can like stop a build here, except I can't see it. Uh, the Defend 2 next turn is going to deal with that land. I mean, it helps decide Strike Evolve. It helps decide that it. I totally changed what I was going to do. I was going to get Fear, but I'm not going to get that Defend 2 and it doesn't do anything, right? I could send this town away so that, because he's strafed anyways, right? Just, he's going on a travel. He started here and he's traveling. And he and all the Dahan are going to hang out here. They'll finish off all that stuff. Uh, okay. So Manifest Incarnation needs a city. But actually, we yeah. So we add blight and it and it cascades, but we win. So, but we just win. So maybe we try to get a power card that. Um, well, no, I need reaching grass, don't I? Unless I take this, in which case I don't get a power card. Oh wait, I I can't add presence in that land. If I add presence in that land. I think, right? Because this is range zero with the city. Uh, it removes stuff, but they still have it. They're still going to have a town there, so it's still going to blight. So either I, actually, I can play this, but this is too expensive. Blah 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 blah. Let's see if we get a free defend or a free, um, move a town or something like that. Push up to two towns for free. Okay. That does the job. So manifest and oh, also we have defend two in all lands, so that covers it, doesn't it? We don't even care. What were the other cards? Does something add a token? No, add blight. So nine root fighters, it is. And they're not building a city, so GG. Oh, sad. We don't get to look at a fear card. That's okay. We don't need to. We'll have an unknown fear card. Do whatever you want, invaders. You are losing. I can still move the town away. GG. Bring her. Bring in it. That was quick. I didn't check how much time that took, but it felt like less than 20 minutes. <laughs> Stage two. Ninth wave. Yeah, we're going to set aside Manifest Incarnation. That's pretty rad card. Though I got it on the first turn. <laughs> oh, we're, we're getting more Dahan. We're going to have Dahan babies. Are we? No, there's only if there's too few on the board. It is Keeper's turn. Keeper is in the back corner. So this Sands has the Blight in it. 
and that's a problem for us. Let's see if we can get next door to it and get a defend card for it. Uh, not the cards we want. Living energy is good elements, but doesn't do anything. Sky stretches has my picture on it and actually does help for us to reach the coastal lands, but there's so many towns everywhere, right? Like, woof, I don't know. Um, we're not going to have a sacred site in the right kind of lands. I think it's living energy just to give us a kickstart and get us growing really fast. And there's lots of blight uh, available on the blight card. So we're going to play that because it's free. And it's just going to get us kickstarted into like this craziness very quickly. And we're going to get power cards. And I get two energy because I oh no it doesn't I just get one energy but it's good elements and so on basically the invaders are going to do what they want for a little bit unlike the last game uh, let's take another miner spur on with words destroying landscape adds wilds which is nice this cascade's annoying. I want blight removal. This is blight removal. Uh, in sands, which is helpful. Yeah, I think I need the blight removal so I can get around more uh, and do my things. So I can add a wilds in here. If I send this guy to here, and then I kill him. And we can do this immediately, which is fun. And what can we do this turn? We have two damage here. It doesn't really help that much we can try to get a defend card for this i think that's what we want to do to stop that cascade uh that's not the right kind if there's fast blight removal that would be good too but there that's fairly rare Absorb Corruption is pretty good elements and Blight Removal, so... Actually, Call to Isolation stops this build, doesn't it? And brings it into here for me to eat. I'm okay with that. I mean, I can eat it where it is, but, you know. Uh, let's get in. Oh, I can get anywhere. So I could make a Sacred Site there. I could also get, like, into range of other stuff, which I think is important. Those Dahan are dying. I could save them. Potentially. Interesting. I could actually move the Dahan away with Call to Isolation. Well, one of them. I think those Dahan are just getting killed. I think I'm gonna put my presence probably here. Cause it gives me that list gives me vision at range one of the whole island. And there is something for me to hit here if I want. And be always be placing presence. I don't have to go in here, but actually, yeah, if I do go in here, that might be better. 
Keeper left sacred sites. Let's put this to Han here. Call to isolation stops this build entirely, which is nice. Maybe just throw them all into here. And then what? This does cascade. I guess actually we just cascaded into there. So maybe we're just like removing blight. It's not exciting. Remove the blight in the sands probably. Yeah, they're going to build a city here anyways, so it may as well just be a lot. Sorry, Dahan. And this can go in here where the cascade won't, won't do anything. And they're in the jungles. But not my jungle. Yeah, they can just all pile in here. It's fine. Oh wait, there's no Oh I didn't have I didn't have a plan. It's, it's funny. Just go in there. That land is just gonna be whatever. Uh maybe we'll get a major and maybe we'll get a big defender or something. Uh I think like we have lots of energy and we have our double presence, so I feel okay taking a major here. We could also no, we actually can't add presence here because there's blight. We're actually a bit restricted in our presence placement. Let's take the major first, and if we get like a big, a big defend, jungle hungers is also very good. Yeah, big defend. I mean, let's look at the rest. Um, Twisted flowers is very good with keeper. Hits a lot of the elements. Talons of Lightning is very strong. Five damage. Not enough for that land, but defend 20 is enough for that land. And getting more sacred sites is awesome, so we're doing that. And Living Energy did its job. We're not going to need it anymore. And let's go more energy. And yeah, we can make sacred sites in here. Let's get the free plant. Start making more sacred sites. Uh, building in the jungle. They're building a city here. There's not much we can do about that. Except try to get our innate and blow it up. Actually, or just blow it up with a bunch of damage. Keeper's so good. Indomitable claim. Should we go card plays now? We can we can get to both, so and yeah, towering wrath. Oh, they're doing double jungle. That makes life easy. Let's wipe everything out. Uh I guess actually I could probably have killed how much damage do I have for this? Oh, just the two, so exactly enough. Um, push an explorer from a land without blight. Oh, actually, I need... <laughs> I want the guy to still be there. It's funny. Hey, you go in here. I want to add the wilds. I like wilds. 
Uh, oh, we're short on energy. We can't do this. I think we don't need to reclaim. There's literally nothing happening in the jungles for two turns. We just take an off turn, get a miner to get volume of cards. Cards that like stop things from happening that aren't happening. Add disease, sure. Add presence for another sacred site. Uh, they're literally not ravaging anywhere, so I'm going to send them in here. I don't know. We don't get our damage in eight, but that's okay. Push two to Han. Where do we want wilds? Back here? Oh, land without blight. That's the problem. There's blight everywhere. Well, here. The Dahan are going to roam free. Great. Thanks for your card. You helped a lot. They explore the sands. Time to blow up the sands. We've got to play our blight removals, I guess. Okay, so regrow from roots. Can remove a blight from here. Rot flies could generate a bunch of fear or add a disease. Spreading wild pushes one explorer, so it actually won't add wilds. It doesn't work on those lands, so I just gotta add wilds, I guess, too. Wetlands and mountains, coastal are up. So let's put an extra one in the wetlands here, I guess. Add disease or generate fear. Three fear or disease. Kinda want the fear. Uh, I can remove Blight from one of these and blow up the other one, I think. Uh, and we have a Dominal Claim as well. We also don't have this yet, but I'm excited about it. Uh, Towering Wrath just, like, does six damage here right now. So that's fun. That kills most of what's going on there. Actually, it's good I picked Uncanny Melting because I'm going to play that this turn for sure. Yeah, let's go for more card plays. I think I want to save my energy slightly. Uh, and unfortunately, I can't add presence to a land with blight right now, so it's going to go there. We could do more damage if we play another fire, but we don't have a card with fire on it. Remove more blight. Oh, but that there's no land of those types. That doesn't do anything. Uh, rot flies generates fear. It's called isolation. Only is there's only this only land with the Han. We could do some damage here. It's not a lot, but it's something. Gain a power card, I guess. Or we could add wilds, but it's, n again, no blight, so. I 
And command beasts, I don't think we need that. Well, that happened. Just remove an explorer. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I forgot I was supposed to take an allergy pill. I'll go grab that. Keeper of the Forbidden Pollen. I like it. Alright, let's see how much damage we can get here with this. Six. So a single town. Which we actually can't deal with. Which is funny. Let's see what we get with this. Needs, needs a Dahan. I guess that's sort of useful for B2 right now. Excuse me. So I think there's more likelihood we get with something to deal with this single town versus this. So I want to remove the blight from here. And I can't get at him. It's annoying. I can't push these explorers away. And add wilds. And then I can punish those who trespass. Two damage. Guess it's a town. Guess I could have killed a city there. Oh, that's true. Command Beast gets me a little ways there. So I can gain a power card here, or I can do this and get a power card. As long as I can afford to do what I need to do. I think it, I can reclaim one. Yeah, that doesn't work, but. Hmm. I have a nominal claim for this. That was the idea. But actually, what I could do is call to Isolation and then Elusive Ambush, and that defends four, but that only works here. It's interesting. Not enough defend. Just thinking if I want to put Presence in here. <clears throat> If I'm gonna if I'm gonna claim there, I should do that, right? Like that makes sense. I feel like I have to find something to defend one in that land, right? Like that has to be a thing I can find. Gather one. There you go. Except, yeah, there is a place I can gather him. Perfect. Uh, can't quite get to steam vents. Destroy a town. That would be nice too. 
Uh, play five. So, I mean, I have presents everywhere I can. <laughs> Reclaim. Yeah. Remove Blight from the Sands. Let's do that. So, Nominal Claim, Lure the Unknown. And Uncanny Meltings. And still play two more cards, because why not play everything? Uh, yeah, there's this. This guy is annoying. I don't have a way to deal with him right now. All of my cards, like, don't work on those guys. I want this fire. And I want another plant. It's letting me clean up all this. So. Claim. Almost placed all my presents. Uh, I can do a damage. I can lure this friend. I don't want him to go into this wetland, but he's coming. <coughs> and one damage. Did you miss anything good? I don't think so. Defend six and coastal lands. Well, I guess I didn't have to do anything. And they didn't build. Remove a blight. If it's sands or wetlands. And this only works in sands and wetlands. We could generate some extra fear. We could add disease. I think these guys are all dead. So I think we take the fear. We could add disease here. It's only it's only two fear versus the disease. Hmm. Both are good. Well, what happens here? They just disappear. Six damage. Um, so it's two fear in either one or disease in that coastal land where they're going to build. But I could probably kill them with this or and or my other card together so let's go for fear and spreading wilds we can add wilds somewhere that we don't want them to go into like this all right probably want to reclaim because we need defense and we yeah we're probably going to reclaim and then gain a power card because a double claim gets us into here and maybe we get a defend for the other actually we have uh lord of the unknown so we actually don't need a power card because we have the cards we need and but we also don't need to place presence <laughs> <laughs> so we may as well gain a power card. <laughs> Growth through sacrifice. Look at that. Put coming in. Uh, this lets us... We still don't have removed blight from mountains. It's annoying. Um, sure. We'll take it. Claim for here. Lure for there. And then, I mean, growth through sacrifice doesn't literally do anything. 
because we can't... Oh, wait, we can get Room of the Blight from there, actually, with Gerther's Sacrifice. Look at that. We figured it out. We figured it out. Then, then we probably just win. I think we just win on accident. Uh, let's destroy everything. And there's no more Blight. So we do more damage. I guess. And we play Manifest Incarnation, because why not? Indomitable Claim goes here. Go through Sacrifice. Destroy one of our big stacks. And make another Sacred Site. Oh, interesting. I could reposition the same one so we don't actually make the Dahan run away, which is nice. Uh, we lure these guys, this guy. We destroy this town. Oh, interesting. I could have, yeah, I couldn't lure him there actually. Uh, but I can command the beasts to destroy the other town. Remove invaders from a land with presence. Sure. One damage per Dahan. All right, we win. Oh, we don't quite win. We're about to win. Uh, the question is, do we want to remove this blight? We would need to go do a reclaim, but we can do it in the fast phase, right? Next turn. Uh, and then we also, as long as we can get the Dahan into there to kill the city. I mean, it's kind of funny. There's like a bunch of ways we can win here. <laughs> I think leaving that one blight in the back is fine. Um, we have to Indomitable Claim into there and then go through Sacrifice to do it. Can we kill everything except the city and leave the city and then defend and kill the city? Probably. Makes it easier next game, right? This removes the city. So that ends it. Um, this does four damage, which just kills the towns. Eh, let's just end the game. It's a speed run. End the game. Oh, we also got to victory card. <laughs> All right, 10th wave. Uh, Indomitable Claim, probably. Yeah. Uh, we have to give up our wilds. Leave the one in the back corner. And we have literally three to Han, but we're going to get a Han baby, so. Our score is going up now. Well, we have River for the 10th wave. The wilds worked. Good first turn. Uh, we just have this land that's building a city we can't stop it unless we gain a power card that could stop it. And I feel like that might be worth the chance to stop the city build. Because having a city here is really bad for River. So let's gain a power card. Call to isolation. Coming in, coming in strong. Coming in strong. Also, sky stretches would help. I could actually wash away everything there and then they don't get to do anything. Even better. Sky stretches. So two card plays, I think. And make a sacred site here. I know we're not taking advantage of the range there, but... Oh, we don't actually, we can't also play Watch Away, Wash Away. 
I feel like Sky Stretches is going to be very strong, though, right? Is that the right play, This the right pickup, though? This early. Yeah, good cards for River. Lots of good elements. Yeah, if I take Call to Ice Edge instead, I can stop the build and the Ravage, whereas the others, other one, I can't do that. So let's do this instead. And actually, I think I want to be in there. Uh, because then I can play River's Bounty as well. We can start making more Dahan babies. <laughs> yeah, Sky Stretch is, is very good, but you're right. I don't know that's the right play here. Oh, but I didn't get my innate. I needed my innate, and I screwed up. Well, we're going to beat them by Dahan Revenge <laughs> is what's happening. I totally didn't pay it. I was like, oh, I need my, I'm going to have my push. And then I totally didn't. Uh, just goes to show you should pay attention. So they're building another city that we can't stop. So we could do the same thing. Or we could reclaim, but there's no Dahan there. I think we're doing the same thing. This is a very strange wi river game where we're trying to stop them from building inland cities. Well, it doesn't work, but we got Grizzly Sacrifice or Quicken the Earth Struggles. I like to defend 10. That's going to, with my Dahan and everything, that's going to help me. I also like Growth of Sacrifice because I can just go be better. But let's go Quicken. And we need a Sacred Sight. It's a weird, weird game already. Uh, Flash Flood stops the city build here, doesn't it? And again, we still, we haven't gotten our innate <laughs> for the first two turns. It's uh, the weirdest river game. All right, bring on Indomitable Claim. So they're still blighting, but at least there's no city there. Oh, man. And then they're building more cities. This is awful. This is very bad. We get to reclaim one with one energy. I think we have to go there, though. We have to set up spots where we can play our big defend card. So we already have a spot there, but we have to get the Dahan in. So it has to be here. And let's get in here for a future turn. We don't need that this... Well, yeah, we don't need that this turn because there's no... I guess we could basically just play it every turn. Oh, it needs a sacred site, so it doesn't actually work there. Unless I put two presents there, which I could, but then I... Mm, yeah, it doesn't work for it. I think I'd rather take the Blight there this turn. And have the Dahan available. Because oh, I could flash flood that to stop a blight. Oh, I don't actually, because I don't need that this turn. Let's flash flood. I can't afford flash flood. We need to make. We need rivers bounty. We need the things we need. We also are gonna need the energy. Sometime. It's 
all right. River's Bounty. Collect our Dahan. That basically kills everything there, except the one guy. That's annoying. Uh, we can limit what's going on here a little bit. If that's helpful. We're defending 10, right? So... All of these guys can go in here. Yeah. Like, yeah. And there's still a city, so they still build, but we can at least like collect jerks together. And so we have Quick in the Air Struggles here. That is a Blight unless we find another Defend card. Enticing Splendor. Oh, we could uh, Defend two. I think we want to stop that Blight, probably. It's not my favorite. It adds Wilds. It's all right. We don't get our innate if we play this card, basically. We <laughs> we have played zero of our elements. So we should play other cards that don't have our elements, basically. Uh, we could send more to Han here to kill more stuff. I think that's probably worthwhile. If we're going to have a no element turn, just lean into it and have a no element turn. All right, no blights. Dahan, come to the rescue. I would love to have two Dahan here to kill that city. That would be awesome. But I think we actually kill everything here. Oh, it doesn't take into account the Ravage when it shows the build preview here. No, we don't quite kill everything. Let's make sure we hit. You're supposed to let me click on this. It's not working. It's weird. Is it not working because... Hmm. That's strange. Something going on there. All right, you and you. All right. We have five damage in each of these next turn. And then mountains. Mountains are happening. So we could get our, we have reclaim one. So quick in their struggles. And then like just a blight, I guess, unless Unless, unless we gain a card. Or defend two. Can we get this town out of here and defend two? That would be cool. This is terrifying. 11 damage right now and they're building another city. I think we gotta gain another power card. Flash Floods doesn't stops a build back here, so it has some value. I don't actually if we I don't know that we gain a power card, right? We just take this hit. It's annoying, but we take it and get ready for this and use our bigger innate to get ready for it by having four card plays and enough energy to play the cards. 
and just have extra presence here for when we lose it. Like boon it bigger or wash away? I like wash away, stops the build, most likely. If they pull jungle or sand. At least this kills all these guys due to Dahan. And Flash Flood stops this build. And that's it. Oh, skip a build. So they don't build there. That helps. That means that Quicken stops this as well. And we can get more Dahan in here to kill them all. And... Yeah, we've got wash away, we've got our damage. Oh, they're building, they're doing sands, so we can probably base power this to just kill this guy, because 11 is all we can handle. I don't want to push him into there. I mean, killing the town is killing the town though, right? Let's not, let's not be hasty. Let's kill the town. Uh. And let's collect these explorers in here. And just send this guy in here. All right. Seems like a reclaim turn to me. And we can take another miner. Nothing with sun and water. There's eight damage here, which kills a lot of the buildings, but not everything. This is still happening. <laughs> this is a little fear. Uh, this is, you know, pretty okay. If we end up with another power that needs plant it might be helpful this one if we have another power that needs moon it's helpful this one is free that's more helpful i think we take the one that's free or the one that gives us energy let's take that the fear i don't know if we play it or not but so here they're building um we can't really do anything about it we haven't seen anything for blight removal yet We could get more Dahan into here to finish off whatever is going on there, but that's not good elements. I kind of want to have Wash Away for the Explore, River's Bounty for River's Bounty. Flash Floods is expensive for what it's doing for me, so let's go with Boon of Vigor, collect more energy. Because I think we're all set for the Ravage. And let's collect some energy. If we command beasts, we could kill the, ta the city here. I like that. And then push the town away. Add Strife. Well, we don't need it here. Let's add it there. And we don't have any bonus damage for this land. All right, massive flooding here, kills the city and pushes the town. It's gonna collect it into here for a super innate. And interesting, yeah, I guess we'll just wash away 
this guy here and collect some Dahan into this land. Well, I don't want to take both of them away, so let's just add one more. All right, so we'll have this turn, and then next turn is probably super innate turn. I think. We could gain a power card and play five. We do have access to Indomitable Claim this turn, which we do not need at all, which is kind of funny. would give us the skip uh, actions in target land. We super don't need it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, we'll use, I mean, may as well use it. We'll stop them building here and that's taken care of. So I think it's gain of power cards. We have something to play with our fifth card. I would like to remove blight game. Please allow me to remove Blight. This one has our elements, so I guess we take it. Not super concerned about any cards now. Uh, we don't need any of these cards, so let's make more Dawn. Uh, stuff, stuff and things, things that do things. Play the you know, set aside power. Uh, do stuff. Make Dahan babies. Have the elements. Play the water. I guess we're close to that, but not quite. Add a wilds for the next game. I guess that kills a Dahan. But we've got lots of Dahan. Well, why don't we... We don't need Portents of Disaster, do we? Get this Dahan out of here. Put him in the back. Add a wild there. Notable claim here. Oh, it's like there was only one option, so it took it off the top track for me. It's interesting. Uh, destroy a town. And that's it. Room explorer slash town from a land with presence. I guess they're not, yeah, they're skipping the actions here, right? So, sure, remove a town. Push up to three from an inland land. Sure. Go there, see if I care. That's annoying. Mountain and jungle. They took away my wilds. I'm not really playing well. I'm just trying to get past this game. we just have to kill this city basically they're gonna build here but 
we're pretty close to that. Let's take a major so we have something for the next game. Bigger of the Breaking Dawn, you say? This adds wilds. This would kill the town here. Volcanic eruption is fun. Can't play it. Would have it for next turn. Let's take this card. Late Night Island. That's it. All right, so we're playing probably our super innate somewhere and kill this city with it maybe not actually well as long as we have three damage that's all we need right that seems good uh so fire vine kills uh the town here we never found blight removal like it's annoying, uh, especially if Sharp Fangs is the next game. The Defend kills all these guys and these guys. They build a town here, I guess. But I think we get enough fear probably to win. Probably. Cool. Uh, one damage, defend 10. Gather for two and one damage if to haunt our presence. Present. Sure. Destroy the city. Add to Han, important. And adding strife doesn't matter. I guess we could move to Han so they. They move anyways, right? Yeah, they move anyway. Uh, win the game. All right, time for the 11th wave. Strangling fire vine it is. Leave that wild back here. Send some to Han. Around. Oh no, there's too many Dahan. I made too many Dahan babies. It is Sharp Fang, so this is not going to be easy. <laughs> there's a lot of blight on the board. Uh, this I could have changed the spirit, but that's my rule, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, let's get in the line with blight while we can. Oof. Okay. We can pray in the builders there. That is a cascade waiting to happen. That's a cascade waiting to happen. This is going to be an interesting one. So first thing we do is gain a power card, I think. We could go major right away. That is a thing you can do with Sharp Fangs, because you get three energy and just start getting major powers immediately. Is that something I would want to do? It's risky, but also potentially very strong. Because even if it is a, like, two-cost major, I could still add presence. 
my innate powers are not going to be nearly as useful because of the blight on the island right now. Of course, you can pull some majors, a bunch of high cost majors, and be like, well, I guess I forget that card. The problem is also that you need to forget a card. So what do you forget? Teeth Gleam, I guess. It requires no blight. I think we do. I think we still stick a minor. Turn one. Enticing Splendor stops a city build. I'm okay with that. And actually, can let us stop a build, stop a cascade totally. So I think I like that a lot. Elements aren't great, but it has a plant, so. It is range zero, no blight. But I was probably gonna add presence here anyway. So with that enticing splendor and pray in the builders, I stop both city builds. Which doesn't solve the cascading problem. But what does? It does make it more feasible to get a power next turn that does, or even just reclaim and play Enticing Splendor again. Stops one cascade. Just having those cities built off on those bladed lands is brutal. So we're not going to have that happen. Do I want that town here? Or I could... I think I want to be in the jungle. So I guess the question is, should I have converted a presence to beast? And I think maybe not yet. I think I do want to send a beast into another land, though. Wave 11. They explore the wetlands. Also bad. All right, so we're gonna gain a power card. If we don't find something that helps us, I mean, nothing's gonna help us with both lands, right? That's kind of the thing. Enticing Splendor is free. So we, can we find another card that's either free or we could gain energy. That helps those cascades stop. And then of course we got another land that's building a city we're behind the eight ball. Here we are reclaiming turn two after other games where we like gained a major turn two and went to terror level two. And we gained a major turn one, terror level two, turn one. It's not a good board setup for fangs. <coughs> like if it was no blight here, I would have killed the town, right? Like that's what I would have done. I think we, if we go for this, we might stop both Cascades. So I think that's worth the chance. Uh, we did not get that. So we could try for another power card that might do that. I think that's probably worthwhile. Uh, out of these, I think the blight removal card is important. So I'm going to pick that. 
I don't think any of these like would like this wouldn't combo with something and I'm gonna not have much energy so in build a nice hunt maybe but probably not we're gonna gain another power card we're going for it defend five for cost zero thank you or add strife but that's a slow phase so yeah that will do it these two cards is it the greatest start it is not but it gets the job done and we can actually kill the town so so what we're gonna do is they're, and they're also building two cities but they're not cascading as much which is the important thing we are going to send a beast Uh, I can leave my presence. Well, bring my presence. Put the beast in here and a presence. Fend five there. All right, we're pushing off the problems down the road and they're gonna get real bad, but we're not getting double sands cascades on the first turn. Uh, there is a cascade problem here. We can convert this to a beast if we need to yikes okay that's a lot of damage in both of those lands eight and six and i'm not keen on reclaiming at this point so i think we're allowing them to happen they're not there was a wilds there, right? So we're lucky. So we can try to deal with this situation, um, I think. Make it a then problem. Yeah, so this is going to cascade into here. So that is just going to be converted. Like, I mean, I'll do it at the end, but that's going to happen. We're also getting command beasts is going to be stronger for us because we'll be able to add beasts generally. Excuse me. So what are we doing this turn? I think I need to go to the bathroom. So you can visit. Yeah, the Dahan. Sorry, Dahan. They are not going to make it. I might gain a defend card. You never know. I'll be right back. Mighty chair. Yeah, speedruns don't stop the clock when you go pee. It's just how it is. 
the clock continues to tick. Turns out that speedruns take a little longer when the island starts with a whole bunch of towns in blight, turns out. So I'm definitely behind the eight ball in this game already. Um, I was very lucky about the token there. Uh, I can get a blight off the island. That's helpful. Those aren't problem areas right now, though, for the land types. I put one presence out so far. It's like, wow, okay. Renewing Rain also adds a wild, which is pretty nice because I'm very likely to be able to get that all the time. I don't know that stopping this build really matters. Like, just let that happen, probably. Because I don't know that I... I don't think that I could actually stop it. I could gather a beast and then do... Probably... Two damage or... I couldn't... I can't kill the city. I don't... I'm not there, right? I could terrifying chase the invaders out of there which is helpful would i be able to the thing is i don't think i'd have enough beasts available to unless i could i bring this one to next turn destroy the city basically that's the thing i mean i'm gonna gain a power card here so maybe that's a useful card So Praying the Builders does give us a chance to potentially stop what's going on there. So let's see what the card is. I think it's a minor. I guess actually we are at the point where we could take a major and then decide to take the energy and still not have presence on the board, but like we have cards we could forget. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Does this help us? Manifest Incarnation. We, can, we can't afford these cards. We can afford Flow Like Water. <laughs> An Accelerated Rot. I guess we could afford anything because we can get plus. Getting plus one, so we have four. And we could have plus three, so we could have a seven. So we could do Manifest Incarnation and wipe out B2. Honestly, that's not a terrible idea. If we stop the build and Manifest Incarnation there, that's kind of okay. I don't know that we ever get to play the card again. I'm willing to try it. Uh, I think Enticing Splendor is the weakest link. We need to gain energy and play these two cards. Convert this to a beast. This is a very seat of the pants kind of situation here. So I'm bringing this beast so that I have presence here. We're stopping the build, and that means Manifest will... There'll be nothing there, right? This might get us ahead because we're going to have like a big turnaround because of the huge amount of fear. That's the goal here. Uh, we could also command beasts, but it won't do a whole lot. It would get us to fear, so I don't. it's not super worth it. Coastal lands, okay. That's convenient because a lot just happened there because there's no animations, but they are not going to build here or ravage, and we have two fear cards coming up. I like it. 
and we have more blight on the island. So, I guess renewing rain works in the sands here. We can't afford to reclaim. <laughs> we have still only added one presence to the island, and it's like the third turn. That is, I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> so that's new. There's lots of new stuff happening in tonight. I feel like we should probably add presence. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, we're going to... Oh, this is terrifying. We need to deal with that situation. We can at least stop the cascade down here, but this is bad. So I think it's add presence on the energy track and gain a power card and look for something that we have a defend that we can pull back that's five they're going to be up to nine damage though but if we can get in there we can terrify and chase them away that seems pretty good Ter basically terrifying chase the towns and stuff and then five defend is enough and renewing rain down here to stop the cascade it's not ideal but it's something so let's get a minor power maybe we find a different option mm. we can remove this is the opposite land types of this right so i think we need to do take that It also adds beasts if we ever get to a point where we're not removing blight, but <laughs> I feel like that's not happening in this game. <laughs> uh, and let's take the plant. I actually, I'm really happy they did coastal because that's where all of my presence is. I have no way to deal with what's going on in the back court right now. Uh, presence here. We don't need to Renewing Rain this turn, necessarily, but it seems like a good idea. Terrifying Chase, definitely. We can get a beast into here and then push out enough so that next turn... Um, the problem is we need to be able to afford to reclaim next turn. And so... As much as removing blight is, yeah, and we need actually we need to do that so they don't cascade here next turn, do we? So we need to do that. We have to take the plus energy option, and then reclaim. So we're not adding presence next turn either. <laughs> uh, we need a sacred site too, so we can't convert that presence. I won't. I will make that mistake again. Let me tell you, someday. Uh. We could actually kill these guys with Command Beasts. That's another option. Since we have Teeming Rivers, which also still needs a Sacred Site. But what we could have done, and what we could do, is make a Sacred Site here. Convert this presence to beast. Move. We can't move both of them, can we? Wait, we can. Because it's push two. Use it here. Push two here. Command beasts. Kills the explorers. And then there's literally one land for the coastal situation. And we can teaming rivers instead we don't get to terrifying chase them away but since they there's no cascade it's not a big deal so we could actually renewing rain 
and remove more blight. That's interesting. Or we could two near the jungle and maybe like kill an explorer in one of these two lands if they ex happen to explore there. And that one's free. I think I want the free card at this point. Because we can renewing rain. Um, we would get to add a wild though. Adding wilds is nice, especially like here. Yeah, since it adds the wilds, we have the threshold. I think I like this plan better. So, oh, I forgot to convert a presence. So the sacred site, we need two sacred sites now. Command beasts. Stops the build totally. So there's two totally stopped. I think that's preferable than the other plan. And this guy can come visit over here. Oh, and this guy, I guess a fear is probably more valuable than other things. He could also move over here, which is helpful for dealing damage next turn. Let's just go fear. Push up to two explorers from an inland land. These are not, it's not an awesome card, but at least we can consolidate. Guys, sure, then you get killed. And they explore the mountains. So uh, teeming rivers, remove that blight, removing rain. I think this one in the interior Maybe the one with the beasts in it? Uh, I don't, it's not a huge difference. All right, things are slightly more settled down now. This is taken care of, this is not. So yeah, two near the jungle would have fixed that, but it's fine. We could terrifying chase that guy, that town now we're dealing with just like towns and explorers instead of cities everywhere. There's still cities like there, which is bad, but it's not as bad. I don't think we need a reclaim here because that's just like they, they blight there because it's like seven damage. We're not dealing with that no matter what anyway. We could reclaim our blight cleanup cards. That's more interesting, but I think we need an actual turn to like get presence on the board now. Uh, whether it's going up, I think it might be going up to two energy so we can maybe eventually play Manifest Incarnation someday again. And gain a power card. It's nice that this guy's taken out. So it's basically this land that we can deal with we can get into there with Terrifying Chase, I think. Can we? Whew. I think we need to go into here. We don't have to, we can go into here. Because we can reach we can reach this land with our innate power now because I cleared the blight. Um Well let's before we do that, gain a power card. I think. All right, not great elements. Not great, remove a blight. <laughs> I mean, that is kind of what I need. Let's go in this jungle, gives us some flexibility. And 
I want to be able to chase away the town from here, which I can do now. As long as I can get in there, which I can get in there. If I play something here, I can do some, I could destroy a town here if I wanted, or we could go with uncanny melting to uh, remove blight, which might be wise. It's not a stellar turn, but it's not a bad turn either because they're not doing anything besides blighting this land. This guy's destroyed. This guy builds, but we chase him away. So we need to... Oh, wait, there's... I need to have a blight turned into presence. And I need a sacred site. Hang on. I can't go in that land. I need to go in a land with beasts. So it's this one. I mean, it doesn't need to be that one, but... I just don't want to convert to beasts right now, I don't think. I mean, I could. I could convert this one, but I need a sacred site, right? So, I have too many sacred site cards for beasts, but I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here, right? All right, I think we're we're okay. So terrifying chase. Send these guys just to this jungle, I guess. Tahan can come too, or he could go there. He should go there. Maybe he should go to the he should go to the land where everyone is. We get more fear. LOL. I don't think we're going to be hitting the terror level right now. Um, remove a blight, I think, from the sands here where they just popped into. I think that card gives me fear, right? If invaders are present. Yeah, so you want to do it there. Hey, look, we can actually stop a build using our innate power for the first time in the game. Uh, and we could just literally play these two cards to do that. It's, this is like the normal first turn is happening right now. That's funny. Yeah, let's just save some energy to play Manifest Incarnation next turn, I think. Uh, so we want to... Generate some beasties. Have a good night, Sparky Wolf. It's been it's been a long one, that's for sure. It's almost midnight here. Uh I wanna be in a place where I can see things from jungles, so I wanna be in the jungle. Well, first power card, or is it gain energy? It might be gain energy. So that next turn, I have a Manifest Incarnation option. I think it's gain energy, not gain a power card. And that means next turn, I have a three card play turn. So here, and we can push beasties into the jungle probably, because there's nothing happening in the other lands. Add strife to a town, minus one health per strife. Uh, probably one of these lands that are more terrifying. I'm not able to do anything to them, but and they enter the jungle. Well, good luck with that, guys. Stop the build there. Obviously, this build is not stopped. This is a bad place. Do we want three fear or do we want to add beast? I think adding beast here is going to 
be more damage. All right, so it's a reclaim, certainly. Man if they, yeah, we can actually set up for a manifest incarnation right here. So if we do enough damage and then there's only, you know, a town in a city, then manifest incarnation does the job or we can throw a defend in there if we want. So I think we take a minor and we also have access to strangling fire vine if we have actually we can use it anywhere so um that is also cool we don't have a lot of wilds around so it doesn't do a ton but it's an option for us remove blight uh we could remove Blight in the back court here, or we could do Song of Sanctity in another place. Those are fine, I guess. They're like, they're all fine. Uh, I need to work it out because I need to know if I need to use Relying Root Biters. Um, so right now, Manifest Incarnation is using all of my energy so I'm probably going with the plus three so I can play whatever I want. Um, well, unless I have enough zero cost cards. I need to play a plant card to get the damage. So it, that's too near the jungle. If I, if I don't take the energy and then sap the strength. So yeah, in any case, I can just play sap the strength here and everything's fine with with manifest, even if there's more stuff there. Okay. Call to Tent has nice elements for me versus Song of Sanctity, so I don't need long root biters. It is free, but I don't need it. Um, my Nate is doing three damage, I guess four damage. I'll probably convert one. Um, but if I throw the defend in there, then the Dawn kill the towns, right? So that's actually better than pushing them away. Let's go call to tend. Let's add presence. We can maintain our secret site here. And convert one to beast. Play this and play set the strength and play to the jungle. Short of fire. Um, so set the strength is basically just because there's still going to be too much here for the ravage from manifest incarnation. But the Dahan will kill off the guys. And then it's stage three and everything is terrible. Uh, the set aside power destroys all explorers would basically do four damage. So if they explore into here, that's gonna be useful. If they don't, it's not. I think we go for it. It helps against the momentum, so. All right, defend here, even though they're not ravaging. And Ranging Hunt. I don't think I want to actually gather beasties. Leave him in the back. And I'll send some beasts to another land, though. And I have to stay here where the city is. I think. 
What was I had finished using power still? I still have command beasts, so the new command beasts. Uh, that's all right. We can save that. Remove an explorer in a town from a land with beasts. Oh, cool. That works. We'll just do that here. Jungle and wetlands. Well, at least it's the land you know. This land's okay. Uh, so I think this is fine because of the defense. Uh, this doesn't move anyone or anything like that, so let's just do that. That's taken care of. Uh, we can get rid of more cities. And destroy an explorer. This guy is dead from the ravage already, so it could be that guy. So I think we win here. As long as we can do the damage. Oh, there's a blight there. We can't do the damage there. But we can and they're gonna build another Is that is there a better place I should have should I've done the manifest incarnation than the other not the manifest, but the fire vines in the other land. It's still four damage, right? No matter what. Why was there one town, another town gone here? There wasn't, right? There's two towns there. Yeah. So it does they're building? They have cities regardless, right? I don't think we can actually completely stop that. I mean, there's strife here, so that's something. So, we can pray on the builders to stop one city from being built. But we can't stop the other city from being built unless we get a card that lets us stop it. So I think we try to get a card that lets us stop it. I think that is the way we go. And if we find fast blight, re blight removal, I think we win. And there is a card that does fast blight removal. And it's not there, but call the trade is there, but we don't have a way to get to Han into there. Dang it. Need more sake. Almost finished. If there were Dahan there, we could stop the rab. Oh no, we can't stop. That stops the ravage, not the build. Blah, blah, blah. That doesn't do what we want. Don't mind me. So, there's a city here, and there's going to be a city here. If we can deal with them. We also are earning four fear cards. <laughs> uh, that's fun. I think this card is the best for us. Uh, we could get a presence in here. We can remove we need oh, we need to Han in there to remove blight. We have some blight removals. We just don't have so we have blight removals that we can use to destroy the city in the fast phase. The problem is, what about this city? Prey on the builders, right? No city. Okay. I think we have a plan. Do we need to reclaim? Or do we want animal? I don't think we need to reclaim. Unless we need four card plays next turn, but I don't think so. Let's just get our presence in there and then it's there. We don't need to worry about it. No build here. Um, get rid of the blight there with this. 
or this or both we have another game right get rid of all blight <laughs> or as much as we can we literally don't we can't use our innate to do damage because every land has blight uh, well let's make sure what we're doing so here we're gathering we clear the blight then we just destroy the city in the fast phase and we win i mean the fear cards might win for us but um we could decline so that we could remove more blight because i think we should remove more blight uh we can remove blight from are we gonna have this add a wilds yeah that's nice i mean we don't need it but Jungle or sands from a sacred site, actually. We're not going to have that. Let's use call to tend instead. Okay. So, praying the builders right here. We don't need to gather. Actually, we can command beasts and kill that guy. Sure. Command Beast kills this guy, too. Command Beast wins the game. Command Beast wins the game. But I think we need to wait and... Um, we need to wait... And, just, and remove Blight first. I think that's important. So actually, should we play this and add Disease? We should play that and add Disease. Hmm... We do need to pray in the builders, so we can't also play that. I think removing blight's more important than disease. Okay. Put them all in there. Yeah, we could win with command beasts right now. But I don't think we want to. <coughs> Because we can remove two blight. <coughs> oh, sneezes. Springtime. All right. Fear cards, add strife, and then they kill each other. Are we going to win too fast? It's going to try to remove the city on us. No, we're winning too fast. <laughs> All right, we're saved. Oh, no. What? No, okay, I was just confused. It did remove the blight. Uh, remove blight. And that doesn't do any, doesn't need to do anything. All right, we don't need to do anything now, but win. I guess maybe we find a uh, fast token or blight removal or something. Uh, we need to play a card that has our elements on it. That'll do. All right. Sure, beasties go inland. Victory! All right, that's wave 11. I am going to refill my water. Be right back.
right, are you ready for the 12th wave? Set aside a power card. Well, Manifest Incarnation is pretty sweet. We'll leave the beast in the back, I think. Still a bunch of blight in the island. I probably could have kept it going another turn. And our sake, a little tiny bit. Oh, like nothing. All right, it's a sake free final wave. All water from here on out. All right, lightning is here to bring us home. So I got to beat twelve. I got to wave twelve. I haven't beaten it yet, but lightning is here to help with the terrifying wetlands. No disease. Disease would have been nice. All right. What are you doing, Lightning? Destroying both of those towns in the fast phase? That seems like a good idea. Where do we want to be? Here. I think that gives us the back jungle safe. Oh yeah, they didn't put an explorer there, which means we can kill both towns. This is very lucky that we can do this. <clears throat> and sure, have lightning spoon, and we'll save harbingers, I guess. Oh, we could get a fear card right now. Do we want the De Honda be in there? I don't know that we do. Let's just put one in here. I want the fear card. Push one to Han from land with invaders or gather one to Han into a land with invaders. What kind of useless card is that? I mean, that's not useless, but it's like, that's not what I want. <laughs> I'm probably just letting them blight this land unless magic happens. We're dealing with the explorers. So I'm just going to skip. I'd rather have them the way they are. We have a sands explorer. All right. So it could be a reclaim turn and just do the same thing again. is not terrible. Stops two city builds. I'm not against it because Raging Storm doesn't actually stop a build, so. <clears throat> and we're very centralized. If your card has fire and air on it, I want it. If it doesn't, not as much. Uh... Actually, this doesn't do much at all. Nothing, well, adding more fear, but it doesn't have fire. I need it to have fire. Two damage. That does a thing. Shatter homesteads. Rouse the trees. Harbinge. Reclaim loop. Embrace the reclaim loop. Destroy the towns. Allow the blight. So now we have a mountain time, which is not as good. Uh, we can actually... This is going to be a bad land, so let's send the Dahan in here where they kill this town for us. And this explorer can go somewhere else like this bad place put him in the bad place let's 
So we could. Just keep doing the same thing. Honestly, we can reach everything. So doing the same thing again is okay. Because <laughs> we can now grow through sacrifice. I'm into it. This is perfect. All right. Uh, Shatter Homestead stops up light here. Uh, we're going to wait for Thundering Destruction for here. And we're going to wait for Harbingers, probably. And we'll go through Sacrifice. We need to get Presence in the Land with Blight now and start using it to clean up the Blight, potentially. Uh, do we start going to more card plays? We're going to run out of... We need to start getting energy. Having three, having four card plays, though, potentially lets us destroy the cities. So let's go with that right now. Oh, we could actually just stop the build with Command Beasts. Yeah. Let's do that. And... Destroy a town somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. All right, I guess they're taking damage here. And coastal lands, okay. Uh, push to Han. I feel like we got the back court mostly clear now, so we can start moving the Dahan towards the coast. I don't know that I want them in there. Maybe I do. I probably it's likely I get a, de a defend card soon, right? I haven't seen one yet. That ravage is just gonna blight. Um, I think we can take a Presence turn now, because basically nothing's happening. And we can... If we do this... We don't actually make enough energy. Right? We get four, and we need five to play all those cards. So if we take a two Presence turn, we get two energy to play just like rouse the trees and destroy this town that they build there and then we get to do a lot more in the next turn with the reclaim i think that's all right and we get our presence into somewhere where we can remove the blight like here and stop a cascade except we probably don't but whatever Oh, I can't reach that land. I'm dumb. I did it wrong. Uh, okay. Reclaim. We're not going to have the sunshine for this anyways. We can stop this build by pushing that guy doesn't have enough elements to get us the city destroy, but we don't need need the city destroy. I would like to stop that cascade, but I guess flesh rot fever helps with that. Let's see if that gets us the city destroy. Does that get us enough? Shatter, flesh rot. I guess we don't yeah, we also need shatter, don't we? Harbingers and something with fire. I guess we need Rouse the Trees, but it also needs no Blight. 
That's not the case. That destroys a city, destroy a town, but there's still two explorers. And that also cascades, and that's bad. Hey, everything's bad. Did you realize everything's bad? We have two cascades because I'm not paying enough attention. What does the card that I took? Flesh Rot Fever, which is important for elements because I need that fourth fire. We cascade, we cascade. We lose a lot of presence. Hmm. Probably some misplays here late in the game. We didn't get any defense though, so I don't think we're stopping these cascades. I think we just probably shouldn't have put our presence there because that made Rouse the Trees and Stones not work how we wanted. Like we destroyed this town, which is doing nothing at all. We should have been destroying this town. That was the plan. And then that could cascade into here, but now it can't just cascade into here. So that sucks. I don't know that this is there's a better play than this though. It at least minimizes what's going on in these wetlands. We could it might be better to stop the build though. Like if they're cascading, they're cascading, it doesn't really matter how much they're cascading by. You just accept it and take delusions of danger or disorienting landscape. I think this does more. This has the sun, which is nice for growth or sacrifice. Maybe if we happen to be able to get there, but yeah. Take that instead. Stop this build. That's more important. Um, I mean, it's not that important, is it? Is it that important? It's not that important. Because we can just destroy the town, but it does stop the... It's important because of the exploration. Yeah, it is important. All right, and we can still destroy this town. So Shatter Homesteads destroys the town. So they don't, we can still cascade it into there. So not all is awful. We have one cascade from here that we can't do anything about. Actually, we could remove the blight here at the cost of a presence and stop a cascade. That is profitable. So, okay. We'll do that. And Harbinge, I think. Or Rouse the Trees. Yeah, there's no place. Well, I guess we could reduce the number of towns here. Sorry. Uh, bonking the mic again. We could get this Dahan out of here for the Ravage. 
what if we do this? Well, the problem is with this is we don't have enough air and we can only do shatter fast. I guess that gives us another fast part. Let's see how this works. This might work. So, delusions of danger. Send him here. Why not? Shatter homesteads here. We don't need to use thunder destruction now. Um, destroy presence here. We don't have anything range zero that matters right now. Remove a blight. So we do get a blight and everything there. I think it's actually better to leave the presence there so we can do that again, though. Right? So destroy this presence. Because then we can do it again. Because it's removed from your lands. And then... We can do two damage, push and explore. There's no need to do that fast. We could save that and use it to kill an explorer somewhere to stop a build if they go into the jungle or sands. I think. So. I think that's what we save it for, unless we want to play Harbingers and save the energy, basically. Because, like, these are... There's no point in hitting these right now. It doesn't change anything. I guess it's a thing I can hit, whereas there won't I won't be able to hit it when there's Blight there. That's the difference. Or I save the energy and play Harbingers for a fear. Slash save the Dahan. Who's going to die here? Maybe I think saving the Dahan is actually worth a while. There's not many left and I can't make them. So we'll go back and change that. I know there's no more games, but I do need to Han, potentially. If I ever get a defend card, maybe that's not the most useful, but it is, it is a thing. Push him to the sands here, right? Because the sands are jungle mech at exploring. And then, like, it doesn't really matter which town we destroy. We may as well destroy it now. It doesn't matter. I guess it could matter with the fear card. Replace a town with an explorer. It sort of matters, I guess. Sort of not. Um... Here. I think we'll cascade to the sands. And explore the mountains. So good, that's still clear. So here we have super badness happening in B2. We're gonna look for maybe a big defend card. Uh, if I kill this, we have a chance of stopping that. If I reclaim, I just don't have a lot of energy. Reclaim and Raging Storm, Rouse the Trees, and Grow Through Sacrifice stops this. Right? So. And then this is obviously a separate big problem, but it's not the end of the world. If it cascades again, it just isn't awesome. 
and also removing presence to remove blight is not sustainable for a long time. <laughs> But it stops that cascade this turn. I think we take another minor. I really want like Indomitable Claim, but maybe we look for that next turn. Add Strife and Great Elements. I like that. doesn't work for this land but it actually means we can use that and raging storm we don't have to remove the blight and presence thing we can actually just grow through sacrifice and like actually grow instead So I think that's worthwhile. And we can destroy a city. We can actually also destroy this. We could just destroy the city. So we don't have to play fire in the sky. We could save it unless we want the fear. Play lightning's boon. Save fire in the sky for another turn. Because basically, Raging Storm and Thunder Destruction take care of that. And yeah, I think we grow here into more card plays into more energy maybe into more energy do we want to use harbingers first to get I don't think so I think we just move like one of these to Han and we don't yeah I don't know that I want to put to Han in there <coughs> Excuse me. Basically, play that for the elements. I want the fear, so let's play Harbingers that way. <coughs> Sorry, sneeze party. Can't bank on getting enough defend for this. <coughs> Excuse me. Or even having enough energy to play the card. <coughs> Some sneezes. Right, defend in lines with presence. That would have been nice to know. I guess I could have added presence here and then had a sacred site for around the sky, but like there's like 20 damage there or something, 14 damage there. It's not worth trying to deal with unless we, ha if we happen to get indomitable claim, we can't afford it. We just can't afford it. So there's not even like, what will we even, there's nothing we could find that would cost three infinite vitality we don't have range like none of the major powers would actually do anything so do we need to reclaim or do we just go with just go with it and reclaim next turn when we can get more energy. I think we just, we need to get more energy. We can start getting more energy per turn. Not necessarily just the plus one time energy here. 
like make a sacred site here that can see all of these lands and get us to plus four. Well, it's not necessarily a good place to be in though because we lose our presence when we go there, right? So actually, I guess we want to put one here instead. And we can start like blowing stuff up. That's fine. Except we don't get enough elements. If we play these two, do we get, we don't even get to our innate. We can't afford to do anything. I wanted Delusions of Danger, basically, to stop this build. <clears throat> but aside from that... Like, Trees and Stones, if they happen to explore a place without Blight... If we're looking for a Major next turn... Oh, we could play Manifest Incarnation. Which would generate a million fear and also cascade again. But we could do it in the fast phase. That's interesting. What were our cards options? Did we have a defend there? We didn't take a card. We didn't take a card. I would have to be in there. I didn't even think about using Manifest Incarnation. I'm gonna go back. Because they do minus six on their Ravage. And there would be, they take away this and there would be three, five, seven eight damage i could also destroy a town so that'd be six damage do we just win do we just win what by doing this or whatever that set aside power could even strife the other city. We could blow up another thing. I totally, I can play another card. I totally forgot we have this. Oh, I can't use it fast. <clears throat> I mean, even if I can't use it fast, I think that's, a, that's fine. It still works. We save the strife for later. We stop this build, because why not? Or generate fear. What? I thought I clicked. I clicked wrong. Oh, I clicked the, I've used it on the wrong land. Um, like that definitely just wins the game right I thought I could use it fast but since it belongs to the other spirit probably not I think that makes sense uh, fire in the sky does have to be fast so I guess we just use it for the fear and then the rest we just Make sure there's not too much damage. Seems good. Seems good. We could get a fear card, but... We just get a fear card just for safety. Hit that guy. Generate fear. Generate fear. Get a fear card. Then we destroy two towns in here. And then we have minus six on the Ravage, 
So even if it cascades, it's probably still fine. Also bonus defend. But I don't think it will. No build. They do explore the mountain. We blow up. Oh, I can't reach it. <coughs> uh, but I think we're still okay. Worst case, sacrifice victory, right? Uh, we do cascade. I think we get a sacrifice victory at the very end. Isn't that great? Wait, why is it... Why... We didn't get the threshold. They do minus six on their ravage. Three, four, five, six, seven. Should be one damage, right? I am gonna report this since we're at the end. Yeah, so it's not hitting the threshold properly, or there's something wrong going on there. And also, there's two defense in the land. So, I think it's that the threshold is not working properly. That's all right. We win a sacrifice victory anyway. Which seems appropriate. But know that it would have been a regular victory. I'm going to stop the timer because we finished raid question mark. It's pretty late. Four hours and 38 minutes. Attempt one. All right. Cascade away. Game over victory. Hey, I got an achievement. An achievement for using all the spirits. Or for using... That's the achievement for beating second wave to the end. And there is no 13th wave. All the spirits have done their part. And the invaders have given up on the island forever. Our final score, 16 points in the last game. It's a low point. So you can graph our points, say they went. Actually, the Earth had a lower score. Points went up. Wow, Wildfire did really well. Points went up and down and all over the place. So the answer is, did John get to and beat Wave 12? Yes. Yes, he did. It took probably twice as long as I thought it would. Probably stopped being a speed run because I wanted to actually win, but still played pretty fast and made some mistakes and managed to win. But uh, definitely is harder than just playing a bunch of new games because the town, the, the island starts with a bunch of towns um, in addition to potentially blight and other stuff. So definitely pays off to set up your island a little bit but uh, I think we did well. I don't think I'm going to do a raid tonight. I am tired. I'm not going to bother with that. So thanks for watching. It is late. I'll see you next time. Have a good night.